Hey, Zappy TV. Sorry, moved my microphone. Sorry, I was just trying to get my dinner before I started, but I didn't quite make it in time. How are you doing, Zephy TV? I've literally just popped on. I can't remember where I am and what I'm doing. <laughs> How's your day? I'll do my usual and go and check on my uh, squad. You're waiting for the stream lurking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I feel really uh, bad that I'm going to be eating at the beginning of this, but if I, it's 7 p.m. in the UK and uh, it's been a busy, busy day, and I didn't want to be here till 11 p.m. at night not having eaten, so. Please do tell me if I need to move my microphone away, or I might just just move them off a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to move my microphone a little bit further off, so I can eat some food. Yes, food is important. And uh, I don't know what time it is where you are in the... <clears throat> Can you still hear me even though I've moved my microphone away? Yeah, cool. It, yeah, great, thanks. I've just got this headset still. I'm... Uh... Oh, this is um, two weeks. Oh, I don't say no. It's two weeks since I first started streaming, so... It's going nicely. I'm enjoying myself. Do you stream Ze Zephy TV? You must stream with a name like Zephy TV. Oh, you used to. <laughs> but no longer. Did you stream Final Fantasy? Hello, welcome if you're just coming along. I'm just really um, getting my act together, trying to... <coughs> Apologies, trying to eat my food before we get going. <laughs> Chemistry, never forget the chemistry. Oh, you go oh, yeah, I think I remember seeing you a fortnight ago. I thought I recognized the name. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, there were so many people being utterly adorable on uh, on the night of the vigil. Um, and, uh, yeah. It was it was a nice yeah it felt it felt very respectful to Stephen so I was extremely pleased about that. So your sister told you about the vigil. Oh. There were quite a lot. There were quite a lot of vigils it seems and certainly some people who came to uh the stream here they uh they went off and um, yeah, you were server hopping. Yeah, they went off and did their own on different servers. You know, I think that's great. I just keep doing this one. Oh, what does that say? Until next week. Oh, I can't do that one until next week. Oh, I see. Oh, I can't be bothered to do all those things right now. Let's just go and do this one. Coming backwards and forwards here every hour on stream is a bit dull, isn't it? Let's 
excuse me, must eat food. My wife will be pleased that I got on with it <laughs> and, ate, and ate food, but, but if only I'd managed to do it before the stream started, I'd feel better myself. Yeah, well, hello everyone. I'm trying to get used to all of this... All of this streaming paraphernalia. Well, I haven't got paraphernalia, I suppose. Just the, the ways and means of using the chat. and There's a lot going on. And you can't see my face, so you can't even tell that I'm here unless I speak, so... Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> ah, that's what I can do, right. doing announcements and everything. Oh dear. Oh, let's put these back on. Is that better? Hopefully the microphone's pointing at my face. Um, oh, what's happened? Ah! Okay, now where was I? Oh, it's putting little funny things across the top of the screen again. That's odd. I don't know why it's doing that. So, uh... Oh, look at that! The automated little chat monkeys have been in play. Weird that it says Rainmaker. Who knows what Rainmaker is? I mean, there's very few people using it, I don't think. I didn't even know I was using it until it popped up the other week. Um, oh no, that's still the Dark Knight. Where am I? Oh. Oh, so we have a big question mark. Well, that's right. A big question mark. We don't know what that is yet. Got to get to Dravenia around there. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Bum bum. I'm on um, Phantom Chaos, if anyone wants to join in. If anyone wants to pop along and... Quite a few times now, well quite a few times, I've only been doing this for two weeks as I said, but... Uh, a couple of times now, people have come and given me lifts, which is nice, because in this part of the game, this is my first playthrough obviously, I cannot um, I cannot fly 
Oh, not that way. This way. Isn't this the river? Yeah, the river. There we go through the river. I remember we finished off here last stream with um, a couple of nice stream chatters escorting me around. I think it's over here. Ah, oh, no, it's a bit further around. So we're just going, carrying on through Heavensward. Flying is freedom, yeah. I've got my compass and I've started to understand and notice the etherite. Oh, you have to, you had to, you had to attack me, didn't you, Bandersnatch? Oh, hey, cheek. Yeah. You wait. My peanut will have you. You're still behind on that data center. Your main is Primal Ultros. Ah. Well, you know. Hi, Will. Thanks for following earlier, by the way. I saw it popped up. Um, sent me a little email. It occasionally sends emails. Out. I don't know why it does it only occasionally, but um, <laughs> I suppose if <laughs> for those very big streamers with lots and lots of people starting to follow each time then um, if you got an email every single time that would be bad but uh, yeah seems twitch has allowed me to set up a few things that it won't show until I'm um, and until they they kindly let me be an affiliate and do subs and things Was it asked me to set up a goal, a follower goal, but it uh, <laughs> doesn't seem to bother showing it. So this is Alfino is eager to make contact with the NAF. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll just give myself two more minutes for a couple more mouthfuls of food. Uh, yeah. And then we'll get going on this. Really wish I'd got this food together before the chat starts before the stream started. Oh wow that rice it's really spicy, crikey. <laughs> yes, I'm having spicy rice. Wow. So while we just sit here waiting for a moment before I get going. What's everyone doing with their day? Apart from chilling out, having me on, lurking in the background, whatever you're doing. Apologies for eating. Got to be done. Hi, folks. Well, that's a lot of people lurking in the first 20 minutes for me <laughs> wow trying to figure out what you want to eat you know <laughs> well I started a diet um, well I've had to start a diet so my plan is easy it's just getting around to it and it's been a busy day I'm doing one of those you know I'm I'm a large gentleman shall we say 
And so I'm doing a slight calorie deficit thing that my wife figured out for me because I know nothing. Oh, that's how you found me. Do you know that's weird, isn't it? Because, um, yeah, yeah. If you've seen, yeah, it freaked me out. That did all the all the um, the stuff I just put what I was doing on the um, on Reddit a few weeks back, three weeks back now, maybe, maybe four, three and a half. Doesn't matter. Sometime in September, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and. Um, yeah, everyone um everyone said nice things about Stephen so they asked me to stream and here we are okay I can eat more of that later I said two minutes e hero kaiba plays if that's close enough, that's as close as I'm going to get it when I say your name. Hi, welcome to the chat. You saw the article too, followed back. It's the first time you saw the notification. Well, it, you know, it's, people are busy. Everyone's busy. I've been busy today. I follow loads of people who, you know, don't see the notifications all the time. I saw a great guy last night. Uh, I watched some live music on, on the stream last night. This guy had a wonderful 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 um projector that just filled the back of his room that he was in and just made it just filled the ambience of light around him as he performed it was beautiful if i find his name i'll i'll share it with you all so you can go and check him out but i don't know what the i don't know what the chat command is but i'll figure it out okay let's start this quest let's see where we're going what does Alphano have to say? So if you haven't been before to this this stream, um, you you'll uh, but you've come because of those articles and things. You'll know that I was a I've been a voiceover artist for many years. I haven't done much lately, but I used to do an awful lot. And uh, in honour of Stephen, my uh, old friend that I worked with at the BBC, Stephen Critchlow, who was the voice of Count Edmont in this, since his passing, I played the game and. Here I am in Heavensward, and we're going through Heavensward, and I'll be carrying on beyond, but uh, I do try and do some little bit of acting in it, voices for people, but hey, nothing much, because I've never read the text before, so here we go. Well, everything appears to be in order. Assuming no one has any objections to my choice of presentation, I shall place our offerings at the trading post as instructed. Were I the NAF, I think I would be suitably impressed. Nod, nod, nod. My character's called Lana Zestaya. And if you can get to the Phantom server, you can come and follow along. Well, how long must we wait? Should we have sounded a signal or some such? She doesn't know. Calm yourself, Master Alphino. Our offering has not gone unnoticed. Oh, Oh no, they're these. These creepy things. <laughs> Vat Fleetfoot. <laughs> hey, hi Myra Azura. Welcome to the chat. Thanks for saying hi. Um, yeah, it's good fun. I'm enjoying doing that. Let's see, what should we do for a Vath Fleetfoot? I think we have to have some kind of little gnarly voice for this, don't we? Long has it been since hunters last came to trade, bearing gifts that filled the air with such delightful scents. Land trap nectar! Oh no, they're all different exultant math. Calum tree fruit! <laughs> and nank- I can't do all three at once. And nanka flesh! <laughs> I set myself up here, haven't I, Mara? What delectable foods you have brought for us. Our meagre existence is much enriched by your bounty. Ah, commanders, come to our hive if you would trade. Cramped and stifling our homes are, but the rancid incense keeps the dragons at bay. Cramped. Stifling. And horribly smelly. 
They see, they'd be funny if they voiced these properly, wouldn't it? But better to live in stench than be cracked and crunched by dragon jaws. Yes, come, come, it is not far. I'm really enjoying the game, Mara Azura. I'm having a great time. Quest accepted. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Uh, where am I going now? We're going down this way. Oh, sort of down that way. Where are we? Oh, only over there. That's lovely to see some uh, first time chat people here. Oh, hello. Oh, all right, go on. We'll get you. Can't hurt. Come on, Peanut, this way. Hmm. Uh, oh. Oh, making myself dizzy. How'd I get in there? Hmm. How do I get in there? Ah, oh, can I get up there? Probably not. Oh, yeah. Fathfender. Fath Fleetfoot. Your presence has been announced to the storyteller. You must speak to your chosen, our chosen leader in words, for we are Vath. We are the non-mind. Okay. If you say so, non-mind. We are the non-mind. Okay. Oh, there. The Vath Storyteller. Hello, Vath Storyteller. I think all the Vath are going to sound the same. Sorry about that. I only have so much range when I haven't seen the text before. Welcome to our hive, Hunters. You have brought delicacies much sought after by our people, and we are much pleased. What would you have in return? Honoured Elder, pray allow me to begin by thanking you for welcoming us into your home, and for accepting our humble offerings. My companions and I come in search of knowledge, specifically knowledge of your people's God. Knowledge alone. Oh no. Bath storyteller. Knowledge alone. What strange hunters you are. <laughs> what strange hunters you are. But if it is words you desire, then words you shall have. We are the Vath the non-mind, and to speak is our fate. You will hear the tale of the Nath's god, of the god of the one mind, summoned into our midst. Isel. Ah, Isel. The one mind, these are the Nath who reside in the main colony. Yes, they are one, connected. But let us begin the story at its beginning. I might take a glass of sip of water for this. Here we go. Beginning the story at the beginning. Some moons ago, a single dragon flew in from the east, bleeding and weak. It fell from the sky and into the hive, where it was swarmed by my brethren, and with spear and spell and musket, the dragon was slain. "'Twas likely the one that had fled battle with my kinsmen. I should commend you for finishing the job." Dragons are fierce and terrible adversaries. The one mind would always cower when their winged shadows passed over the ground, but no longer. They had learned that a battle-weary Dravanian was easy prey. Thus did the one Thus did the Overmind decide to heed the words of the black-robed men. The One Mind would call forth our god and unleash his blades upon the dragons. Dravanian lands would become Nathlands, and ever larger would grow our domain. But our god ever hungers. The price he demands in crystals far exceeds the rewards for this war. 
we of the Vath despise and revile his insatiable existence. Oh, okay. I didn't say long. Ring of fending, ring of slaying, ring of aiming. Compare that to my. Oh, that's not as good, is it? Uh, let's get a casting ring for my mage. Ah, uh, okay, that was that bit. Now who next? We've got to leave these little blue things for now because I just get we'll get waylaid. I'll come back. Oh, what is that? Hello. Well, I'm right here. Who do I speak to? Oh, there they are. Speak to Isail. Isail seems troubled by the Nath's War of Expansion. Ah, oh, come on then. I call upon the power of a primal for the greater good, conscious all the while that I had that I do so at grave cost to the land. I reason that it is a necessary evil and willingly shoulder the burden of my sin. In suggesting that such crimes can be justified, you may argue that I presume too much, but you must surely see that I am aware of the magnitude of my transgressions. Not so the Nath. They summon their deity for no greater purpose than to expand their dominion. To a scion of the seventh dawn, one sworn to eliminate the primal threat, the distinction you draw seems questionable at best. But the fact remains that my own grandfather risked unleashing the power of the Twelve in an attempt to prevent the calamity. Thus, while I may not condone your actions, I at least understand them. Not so the Nath, as you so rightly put it. If they truly seek naught but territorial gain, I can only conclude that they are ignorant of the ruinous consequences of their god's insatiable appetite. The longer this primal is suffered to exist, the greater the suffering it will cause. It must be destroyed. How lightly you propose the destruction of this god, Master Alfino. I, a being of whom we know naught, has it occurred to you that you may be sending the warrior of light to her death? No, I... Oh, oh you have the right of it, Estinian. It would seem it is I who am guilty of presuming too much. Pray forgive me, Lana. I do not fear my duty. No, I don't. I do not. Wait, Lana did not face this foe alone. Like her, I am blessed with the Echo's protection and may do battle without fear of primal influence. Let, let me bear this burden. <laughs> Do you truly imagine yourself a second warrior of light? Remind me, how many primals have you faced, milady? Not that it matters. We know not where this god resides or how to challenge it, unless you mean to pray until it appears. <sighs> Estinian makes a valid point. Let us speak with the Vath, and learn how best to secure an audience with their deity. In this, at least, I may be of assistance. The young lord certainly appears eager to prove his worth. So he does. I've got to have another bit of my food. I'll get there eventually. Okay. Apologies for that. Crikey, that is spicy. Um. Kibbelroit. Or Sibbelroit. We are Bath. We are the non-mind. We do not hear the one mind's thoughts. We cannot predict their will. Okay. Since they've got the one mind, they've got the one voice as well. Here we go. Put this idea from your minds, generous hunters. If you meet with our god, then he will have your souls. Surely you're not so generous as that. Maybe not. 
Uh, you wish to meet our God. Offer yourself as a sacrifice and you will soon be brought before him. We would mourn the loss of such generous hunters, however. Oh. <laughs> I've just noticed <laughs> that my, um... My, um chat thing from Rainmaker is not allowed to post the links that I've put in the auto auto thing <laughs> how do I change that who knows anyway I'm on Twitter as the poet plays as well <laughs> that's funny ah gather information from the Vath go and talk to voracious Vath You are generous hunters, yes. Many gifts you have brought, but not enough for all Vath to enjoy. Maybe you could bring us just one more. We are very fond of Nanka flesh. Yes, the meat of young Nanka would make a fine repast. Alrighty. Let's go and get some Nanka. Anyone else in Final Fantasy on a different server playing tonight? Or the same one, obviously. Any server. Crystal the Avalos. Please do let people know where you are so they can come and join you or say hello to you. Wherever you're playing. Oh, that was easy. Of course, I, I really played this, like, just incessantly far too much all the time, really. The first five weeks I was playing, and I uh, put far too many hours in over that time. So this is a nice chill way of keeping me going in it without me just doing my ADHD thing and completely foregoing it for other things. So streaming this and carrying on with it is... Uh, really helping. Ah, oh, for those of you that know my wife, my wife Jules has just come into the room. Hello Jules. Hello. She's probably coming down for some dinner. I'll just let her know there is chicken in the fridge that I've just cooked. I haven't quite managed to finish eating it all before I started streaming but they're being nice and not minding. Right, I'm gonna carry on. Here we are, voracious vath. We vath do not... Oh no, we do enjoy we vath to enjoy our Nanka flesh. Have you been out hunting yet? I have. Here's the Nanka flesh. Another gift for the vath. So unexpected. Mm, yes. You will have more of the words you strange hunters hunger for. Listen now. The senses of the one mind are enmeshed by the overmind. What one sees, all see. What one feels, all feel. Alert a single gnath and the whole hive is alerted. To reach our god undetected is all but impossible. Your main is on a Matthias crystal, forcing alchemist to 90 so you can get some glamour pieces. I know little of these things, but I will get there, Mara Azura. I will get there. The Vathar won't to allude to certain concepts without explanation, but I believe I'm beginning to grasp a few of the fundamentals. From what I understand, the king-like Overmind sits at the centre of Nath society and its presence somehow allows its subjects to communicate without need of word or gesture. 
These Nath, the ones who inhabit the larger hive, are known as the One Mind, and it was by their combined will that the Primal was summoned. Those who reside in this smaller hive, however, are the Vath, or the Non-Mind, who, for reasons that yet escape me, seem to have been excluded from the telepathic bond which connects their Nath counterparts. Thus are the Vath ignorant of the One Mind's thoughts and intentions. And of the nature of their own god. In summary, we have wasted our time. All right, all right, Astinian. Chill your boots. Not so. Perilous though it may be, the Vath did furnish us with one certain method of approaching the primal, as sacrifices. Should we allow ourselves to be captured in the environs of the colony, the Nath will bring us before their deity to make an offering of our souls. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Alphino wishes to review a sales plan for infiltrating the Nath Hive. Oh, okay, well, we'll let him do that then, shall we? Forgive me, but let us be clear about what it is that you propose. You mean to say that you would deliberately provoke the Nath, surrender yourself into what might generously be termed their custody and then wait until their god arrives to claim your soul you have to excuse any background noises you might hear because i me we have a kind of open plan house and my wife has to make her dinner too so you know carry on darling you've got to make the noise you just don't worry about it just oh if you found the peanut butter now. I've made chicken and she's having peanut butter crisps and biscuits. Never, never mind. This sale. Aye, that fairly well describes my plan. You will join me in this endeavour, will you not, Lana? I would think so. Judging by the great risks you took to prevent the summoning of Saint Shiva, you are not a woman to err on the side of caution. Would that I could fight at your side, warrior of light, but the power of the dragon is no protection against primal influence. Forgive me, but I must remain here with Master Alfino. Then it is settled, Anna. You and I shall challenge the guards at the entrance to the colony. Once the hive is roused, we shall feign a brief show of resistance, and then allow them to take us prisoner. It, it sounds like a really bad plan. I'm not sure about this plan. Okay, uh, which way do we go for that? Down that way. I see the arrow. Oh, I don't... Oh, do we? Okay, let's do this. Let's sink and kick some... Is it them? Yeah, must be. What do you mean target is not in range? Oh, it's because it's those. I think I've seen these. No, oh, I don't think I've seen these before. I mean, it's slightly weird doing fates when I can't actually raise my experience at all but you know it saves my voice a little from these <laughs> from doing these voices
My experience points are zero. Oh well. So we're off to provoke a Nath drone. Fun times. How far is it? Oh, it's miles away. My not particularly much faster claw can carry me. Oh, I can have a little quick bite of my food while I'm waiting. I must go round the rock. That teach me not to look where I'm going. Excuse me. Pardon me, coming through. That purple bit looks suspiciously uh, uninviting. Who's that? Get off. The Overmind must by now be aware of our intrusion. Let us press on into the hive and ensure that we have our host's undivided attention. I'm guessing I have to... Yeah, kill these. Okay. All right then. Oh, who killed that one? There's a dead one here. See you later, love. Bye bye. Not bye bye to you lot on stream. Just bye bye to my wife for now. Oh, oops. I better just attack all of them. They're going to get me anyway. Pum pum. Pum pum. Well, there's quite a lot that are dead without my doing. 
No ho. Uh oh. That's a big circle. Come on, Peanut, help me out here. That's better. Oh, there's more. What a surprise. Oh, he's not there. Oh, hold on, there's still more. Uh, this way. Nice and relaxing. Definitely my first time in this part of the map. Uh, th oh, there's more. Okay. Here we go. Hello those that have just joined. Welcome to the stream. I'm the poet plays and I'm fighting my way against the Nath right now. Oh hello. making my way for the first time through Heavenswood. Heaven's Ward, Heavenswood. Whatever, however you want to say it. Uh, oh, who's over here? I've got to kill you as well, probably. And I'd say if you're playing Final Fantasy this evening as well, please feel free to Pop down your server while you're playing. If other people want to join you, then. Or if you want other people to join you, that is. Or come along to Phantom Chaos and say hi to me. Ah, destination. I walked straight past it. That should be sufficient. If we did not have our host's full attention before, we most surely have it now. Our audience with the Primal may be granted soon after our capture. Pray advise me once you have started your mind for the battle to come. Steeled your mind for the battle to come. Oh dear. Here we go. It's a big battle time then, is it? Okay. Let's have a little look at how the equipment is faring. I'm not... Oh, I've got loads of... Con They're not in shabby condition, are they? No. There's nothing... Yeah, no. Nothing's bonded. Fair enough. Okay, so... Let's just... 
Uh, yeah, let's do it. Surrender to the NAF. You are prepared then? As I will ever be. Hold here, Lana. When next the Nath come, we offer no resistance. Uh oh. Oh, their legs. Surrender intruders, there is no escape. That was the plan. Enough, we surrender, we throw ourselves upon the mercy of your God. Swiftly, how you doing? Welcome. Thanks for popping by. Yes, you ugly beetle wannabes. <laughs> Come get us. <laughs> how are you? Might actually work with beetle. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I do get it. Wannabe beetles. Oh, a sail. Here we go. What's she saying? They seem eager to proceed. Good. When they take us before their lord, pray leave matters to me. If what I know of summoning rituals holds true, I shall be well placed to act. Um, <laughs> I just noticed the chat thing again with the text. <laughs> oh, I can't post the link. It doesn't have permission. <laughs> um, you're good. Can't help it. I love the cheek in this strategy. It works, but it's also kind of fun. <laughs> Mark the sound of the river rushing through the ravine behind us. Passing loud, is it not? I imagine the noise would serve to mask our escape should we need to withdraw temporarily. Yeah, I still haven't figured out what chair I'm going to get, though. Swiftfear. I have not. It's a... It's a minefield out there! Full of comfy chairs, so... Perhaps the opposite of a minefield, but um, yeah. See, the moment you've typed that, I'm like trying to sit up better in where I'm sat on my sofa right now. Um, <laughs> that's funny what a sail is saying, considering what we're talking about. But you are prepared, are you not? No, <laughs> I'm not. I do hope so. If I were to be dragged away for sacrifice while you were ha haggling over the price of potions, I should not be amused. How's your day going then, Swift Fear? What have you been up to? Ooh, hello. That's a big red circle. Oh, let's see. Oh, is this going to be voice acted? This would be nice. Oh, I could maybe eat while I'm listening to this bit. Now we have but to wait. Oh Lord Ravana, master of the sacred blades, wrath of the colony. Conqueror of the world, hear our prayer. Well, look at that. The tone of his voice is not too dissimilar to what I was doing for the Vath. Yeah, you've got to get back to your bun boys for fear. I did say bun boy. Don't worry. ARR. 
pray grant unto your devoted children the gift of your divine presence. Excuse me, just finishing my food. He comes. Uh oh. Shit, bad boy. All strength to the colony. Speak and I shall listen. Oh, glorious general. We have captured intruders and would make unto you an offering of their life's blood. Oh, that doesn't sound good. We do. Hear me, Lord Ravana. My companion and I did not come to contest your children's territory. We wished only to learn the reason you wage war against the dragons. Thou wouldst flirt with death merely to satisfy thy curiosity. Wherefore should the glorious conquests of the Nath Concern thee so, Elizabeth. Oh. Ah, mayhap thine own kind struggle against the worms fareth poorly, and thou art desirous of a pact. We crave no alliance, Lord Ravana. Only peace. We would bring an end to our war with the dragons. Yet so long as they remain embroiled in this conflict with your children, our goal shall remain out of reach. Never before have the Nath risen up in such numbers, and never yet with you at their head. Why do you lead them to war? Thy question has no meaning. To live is but to fight. Mm -hmm. Long have my children waited. Gathering their strength in the shadow of thy ceaseless conflict. The Nath would see the Dravanians slain and their territory secured. And by such fervent prayers am I now given form and purpose. As I feared, your very existence is an obstacle to our goal. Since you are so fond of fighting, we challenge you, Lord of the Nath. And should we emerge the victors, I would have you swear to withdraw your soldiers from Dravanian soil. fleshy hide so readily. Very well. I, Ravana, fourfold master of the blade, to accept thy challenge. I don't. But should I emerge the victor, I would have thee swear to serve in mine army till thy last breath is spent. Is Do spent. you accept? Um, do we? Hey, tall boy. I do. And I believe the first bout is mine. Oh, 
What you doing? Very cool. Very cool. So there you go, that's what Swift Rear is saying. Honor. He has got four swords though. Oh, proper Tinkerbell action going on there. That doesn't sound good. Uh, um, I thought myself stronger, mayhap with more crystals. Chiller. I'm right proper scared now. try Swift Fear but he's disappeared where's he gone I'm sure he's not going to be gone for long before I have to try and kick his ass Thock ass Thock uh, confront Ravana in Thock ass Thock Forgive me, I was overconfident. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, well. Hey. So this is a... Oh, see, I can't make a... Hmm. Hey, Swiftfair, fancy um, making a party and going here? I don't know if your... If your bunny boy is... Uh, Oh, you're in ARR, aren't you? You can't do this one, can you? On on this uh, server. Or can you? I don't know how it works. How does it work? I do not know. I have never done it. That'd be good. Uh, I cannot invite anyone. Because the other thing is, of course, I can't invite anyone. I just have to, say, put it in the duty and wait for somebody, you know, wait for a party to come along. 
haven't had to do one of these on the stream yet. Yeah, yeah, well, the longest I've waited is 80 minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think... What, level 53, what is my mage? My white mage. Oh, well, my white mage is level 53. Um, but if you fancy popping along, how how would you get into this bit? Oh, I don't. I have no idea. How does it work? The super rare 20 plus minute queue you got was long. <laughs> well, no. Uh, is that an ARR? because uh, yeah I had 80 minutes waiting for something I can't remember what it was I think it was uh, let me just try and remember I'm not going to move out of this location it was yeah it was in Mordona and it was the Crystal Tower some part of the Crystal Tower so uh, yeah Hi Wiggle, it's currently at 17 minutes DPS queue for Leviathan. How do we know these things? There's websites, isn't there, telling you all this information. What should I do? Should I just put myself in the queue and go and do something else? Let's try and counter the... You're up for trying to counter the DPS queue by popping along. That'd be cool. Anyone else? Oh, no, I think some... Zephyr, you... Wiggle, I don't think you said you could... You could, um, come to this server, can you? I don't know how... I don't know how it works. Swiftwood's... Swiftwood's been before. And, uh... Popped along on, uh... On my journey. Meanwhile... We'll just stand and bask in the glow of the light. Is that how it works? You can't transfer... No. I've, I, I've no idea. I've never gone anywhere outside of Phantom Chaos because I know nothing. And I probably can't on the trial anyway. I probably can't do that on the trial. You can transfer in your region. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Thanks, Mara. So only in your region. I'm just I'm gonna have a hydrate break. Well, not a break. I'm just gonna go to the sink and get some water. Stretch my legs. Oh, the poor PlayStation controller trying to keep the signal going. Just walk backwards and forwards a little bit. <laughs> walk back to that posture again, Swift Fit. I've got to try and get someone to take me to a store so I can have a look at chairs. Looking online, I just get that. Sagittarius is on Chaos 2. Um, and uh, that's good for us right now because... Um, hold on, where, what if I look at friend list? We are friend list, friend, 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 friend list. Huh. That's a party leader of some, oh, a party leader. These are people that I think were at the, yeah, those ones must have been people that were at at the vigil you can you think you can easily visit the other servers by doing an option on the large teleporting crystal in the mayor cities like Limsa for transferring the data center you need to do it on character select screen so you can vi you think you can visit other places? Your cat boy. 
Okay. Well, I mean, maybe uh, I've got a healer. I mean, you know, I'm not proficient. And she is only level 53, so we ain't going to get any boost over that. I could be healer. If I knew what I was doing. I could be healer. <laughs> oh. Healer. Healer good. Level 53. This is only level 53, isn't it? What does it say on the... Geez, oh, I don't need to look at that. What does it say? It's level 53. What is my character's name? Lana. L-A-N-A. -A, Zestaya. Z Let's put it in here. So, Lana Zestaya. And why I'm saying... <laughs> I'm just speaking out loud. I've got a laptop in front of me with the with the Twitch chat. Silly me. Oh, friend request. Oh, Leon Leon Swift party. Well, hey. So you where? Oh. Why is it doing that? What's happened? Accept. That was there we go. That worked. You're lion cats. God, you, look at you, you've got so many See, this is for, for people who've been playing the game for so long. It works. Yeah, it works. You've been playing the game for so long you've got so many different characters. And there was like panicking over uh my situation with the um Let's just have her in the background. I was looking into the... Uh, oh, you got five characters. <laughs> five different characters. But then you've got to level up... Well, I suppose you don't have to level up everything then, do you? You just have to pick, pick a job that you really like, I suppose. If you've got other characters, you can help each other out. Can you? I don't know what I'm talking about quite clearly. Um... <sighs> Oh dear. Oh, I'm not going to go into all my trials of trying to figure out how to transfer these things over to the full the full thing. But I think I've got it figured out. It's just going to be more costly than it should be because I'm stupid. Um so what are we doing? Are we where where be your lion? You don't want to go broke on fantasies or fan Fantasias. At the moment, Annex Trine. Is that you just travelling? But, uh, do, uh, so if we're in a party and we want to go in together, we've got to come to the entrance together, is that right? I am such a sprout. Does it have that next to my. If you're looking on your friends list, does it show sprout next to me? Oh, it, so you've started the you've started the uh, thing. So I'm in your party, and you've started looking. So I oh, it says duty finder. Fuck hard. Uh, so will it show that? Uh, so I'm just in your party. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's tweeted out the quote of James James Sheard's poem. Damn, that's a good poem. Oh, this might be a good time while we're waiting for the duty to start. Let me read this poem. So, uh, this is a great poet. In the UK, we have a thing every year called the T.S. Eliot Poetry Prize. It's a really big deal, and they win like twenty-five, thirty thousand pounds 30000 It's quite a lot of money, isn't it? Uh, James Sheard, uh, someone I know, he was on the shortlist for that. It's a big deal. Oh, here we go. James, oh, we can't have the poem. Let's go. I'm slightly terrified going in with my mage. <laughs> Lest I ruin it for everyone. 
we'll talk about James po Jim's poem afterwards. Healer cues for the win, yeah. Right. Oh, lovely violin music. Thank you, Swift Bear, for joining us in. Oh, it's those swords again. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever done this before, where I've uh, arranged with a, a other per an other person to do a particular thing in a game before. I think it's my first time. I've always gone solo in multiplayer games. Ravana, he hench. Uh oh. Please be other healers, or am I the only one? To the song of ringing steel. Oh, oh, no, no, scream, don't do this to me. Where be. Oh, God. Uh, that person there, heal. Eh, uh, heal! Hold on, I'm getting confused. They are not dying. What is happening? Oh, somebody kick the shit out of me. Uh, oh God, it's, I do not remember how to play my mage. Okay. I, on the other hand... Playing mage is just for me is right now because I know not what I am doing. It's just looking down the list, seeing who's losing their health. What fun! Everyone else gets to do the stabbing. Oh no, I've died! <laughs> oh, you raised me, thank you very much. It's a good job you know what you're doing. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. Crikey! Oh shit, that's me. Heal myself. Who's there? Somebody needs raising.
Wet deeps, let me raise you. Did that work? Did it? Did you? Where have you gone? Hello. Where did you go, Leon? Oh, yeah. I tried to raise you swiftly, but I don't know if that worked or not. So without any real help from me, that happened. <laughs> um, what was the... <laughs> you stood in the fire, as it were, yeah. You're waiting for the best moment to to res. Mara just throws... Dro what? Dro st throw stones? I don't know. Oh, throw stones, yes, yeah. You see, this is the trouble. I haven't actually played the... Um, mage for about two weeks and I didn't really know what I was doing then <laughs> do I have medica 2 no I've got medica 1 I do not have oh, I do have medica 2 <laughs> oh, I'm useless <laughs> useless <laughs> your sage is a strong healer he goes pew pew has shields mitigation heals Hear me a HOTs, whatever they are, and is your current fave, so you've got lots of practice. I tried to raise you because you died, but um, I don't know if I did it right. I'm going to leave the duty and I'm going to go back to my bard where I know a little bit. Healing over time, now that makes a lot of sense. Oh, hello, Vath, Vath, Nath, whichever ones you are. Thank you for helping me get that part of the quest line cleared though that's brilliant hey I do feel like I cheated with my bard not being there you do not disappoint warrior of light would that I had your skill in battle <laughs> I do begin to see why so many place their faith in you <laughs> my skill in battle I did nothing you weren't there you rezzed. You wanted to abuse the window of invulnerability you get when you rezzed. What's res? For all his savagery, I do not think Ravana won to break his word. Provided the dragons do not trespass upon Nath lands, they should have little to fear of the primal's biting blades. We have done well, have we not? Come, let us return to Vidofnir and share these glad tidings. Why did I not notice that that was short for resurrection? That makes lots of sense. So there's some clever mechanic that helps you when you do that. Fair enough. I know nothing. I know nothing, everybody. Once more, you achieve the impossible, bringer of light. But with oh. every mortal heart that succumbs to fear and fury, another voice is joined to the chorus, beseeching divine succor. At their bidding, warring gods will shake the firmament, and your world will be consumed in the swelling storm of chaos. I need a gamer dictionary. Yeah, I'd only forget. I'd read it and then I'd forget them. <laughs> There's like a million wiki, wiki entries, isn't there, for the game. 
Yay, let's go back to my bard. <laughs> At least I have some clue how that works. Hello, Lana Bard. Whew, thank you for getting me through that. Uh, I'd like to carry on the quest line. Am I allowed to do that in the party? Oh, it'll let me talk to him. After a res, you have a short window of invulnerability. But doing any action will cancel it. So, how is that a benefit? If you're invulnerable, but you can't do anything, what bonus do you get? Apart from not dying. I guess, again, you're already dead in the first place. That makes a big confuse above my head, that does, Wiggle. Very confused. Isail says, Never since we first fought have I seen you draw upon the full extent of your power. <laughs> Again, she lies. She didn't see me. I was nothing. And never from afar till this day. You were a marvel to behold, Lana. If marvel means standing there like a lemon, not knowing how to do anything. I saw I gave some healing to some people. Tis time we rejoined our companions. They will be eager to hear the tale... <laughs> <laughs> and to continue our journey. They will. Hey. So, uh, feel free to, like, disband the party if you've got other stuff to do. Um, because I don't want to take your gaming time as well as your listening time. That would be rude. Where, 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 where do we go? Oh, we've got to go all the way back up there. Let's get on Chocobo or whoever. Oh, Chocobo, yeah. Hey, we get the music. Later, I can look into making skill bars show you two bars. One top, one bottom. Makes the controller play much better once you get more and more skills to play somewhere. Yeah, I am really... I've not changed anything from the basic, as you can see. I mean, I've seen all sorts of things that can be done. But I don't understand any of it. I'll get there. I've got thousands of hours to play the game. I'll get there eventually. Especially with you not helping me. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. I mean, obviously, that the help there was just letting me fumble about like a lemon while everyone else finished off the <laughs> finished off Rafan. <laughs> So, uh, doo -doo. oh, gotta go over there to go up the rock. You didn't know you could edit the UE. Well, I know you can edit the UE, but I just don't get it. So, if I try to figure that out, also at the moment I'm not playing it every, the game every day. <laughs> Heaven forbid. How sacrilege, isn't it? I'm not playing the game every day, so. I was, but I'm not playing it every day at the moment. Because so I'm trying to sort some life things out. Lana, Lady Isael, thank the Twelve. Oh, it's all so complicated, Swiftfair. I shall just try not to die when my fumbling. Lord Ravana, you say? How curious that the Vath never mentioned his name, and you are quite certain he will keep his word. There was honour beneath his savagery. That we survived the encounter at all was a miracle. <laughs> it is for me a miracle. A miracle I must attribute to life. <laughs> You can attribute it to me if you like, Azale. <laughs> 
Never did I doubt you, warrior of light. Unlike some, you were gone so long that Master Alfino here nigh lost his wits with worry, fretting like a maid for her sweetheart he was. Estinian, was that truly necessary? You, start, you drive yourself nuts with musings. Yeah, well, you know. As long as you're having a good time. <laughs> Not truly necessary, but certainly true. I'm losing the thread of this conversation. What matters is that the primal is banished and our promise fulfilled. We should return to whatever that says. I can't see my terrible eyesight. Oh, we should return to... Vidofni, is it Vidofni, or is that an L? Without delay, lest you forget, this was but a means to secure an audience with the Worm Hrysvelger. Nidhogg's minions will not be halted by idle chatter. Come now, we must make every moment count. Poor Alphano. The reason he was worrying so was that what any Stinian said to him before the warrior light and his hair went to confront Ravana, and then the man turns and ridicules him. Yeah. It was mean. Estinian is a big, tall meanie. You are unkind, Estinian. For all his experience and intellect, Alfino is still but a boy. Both well, nods all around. Lord of the Hive. How are we doing? We're 90 minutes in. We've done quite a lot. Mount speed in the Dravanian forests is now better. Oh, so someone's around here that I've got to speak. Oh, he's right behind me. Didn't see that. Uh, Alfino. He's keen to inform of... Is it? A, I've got to get up and have a look at my screen. Is that an L? Oh, no, it is an I. Vidofnir of Lord Ravana's defeat. So yeah, feel free to um, disband our party, Swift Fear, if you've got other shit to do. Shall we be on our way to Annex Trine then? I would not have the Dragoons think that we have forgotten our bargain. Or Dragons, was Dragoons, I was just Dragons, wasn't it? I'm fumbling through this evening. Morn in, morn in passing. Uh, oh, just, uh, we're there. Let's go there. I've discovered <coughs> that it is... Oh, which way out? Over there. I've discovered that it is completely impossible to change that PlayStation avatar on the right hand corner for my profile picture. It's got to be an avatar and nothing else. That's annoying. Whoa, hello dragon. Please be voice acted this bit. Oh, it's not. That means I've got to think of something. Thou art returned, little one. Hast thou abandoned thine ill-conceived contest with the Nath? Yeah, wouldn't it be cool if I can get some equipment together and uh, I could do voice-changing things, couldn't I? Nay, oh no, it's ale. <laughs> Nay, my friend, we return in triumph. By Lana's hand was the beastman's god, Lord Ravana, laid low. If only that were true. In his overconfidence, who? Hello, who's that? In his overconfidence, the primal swore to withdraw his followers from your lands, in the event of his defeat. A promise we believe he will keep. The Nath shall trouble you no longer. The deity is slain, then. How didst thou contend with his biting blades? But the particulars matter not. Thou hast fulfilled thy promise, and I shall fulfil mine. Attend me, mortals. Hie you into the deepest reaches of morn, and there shall you find Halo, the altar from which you may begin your ascent to the summit of Som-Al. 
but be fairly warned, the minions of Nidhogg shall not lightly suffer your presence on that sacred mount. By your struggles within the cavern I shall judge your party possessed of sufficient fortitude to proceed. We shall not disappoint you, Vydofnir. If memory serves, the Cavern of Morn is entered from the second floor of the central tower. Let us begin the climb. Hey, this is new location time. Isn't it? Which way we go? We're going up here. It would seem so. Oh, I like new locations. That's exciting. Oh, just... Is it this way? No, hold on. Oh, it is this way. Oh, hello. Oh. Ba -da -ba -ba. Just having a little stroll up some stairs. Hello. Did you say the second floor? Do I go up some more? I think I must go up some more. <laughs> I see the little icon on my mini map for you. Ah! Oh, look at these dragons. Aren't they lovely? I love it. Looks great. way which way we've got to get up there how uh, is there stair oh there we go there's a path you can't see me on your mini map you can't see where i am <laughs> well i've gone up the tower well now i'm going up a very i suppose i should get on something So I had two. I don't. Uh, I had. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Even when you're right on top of me, you can't see me. That's weird. Well, actually, no, I can't. If you're right here, I don't know where you are either. But then I am being really rude and just cracking on. I'm. I think I'm going the right way. I can't be going the right way. Oh, I can. I am going through this maze of... Nobody seems to be attacking me. That's handy. So, another very uh, lovely thing happened last week. Not just the kindness of the donations for towards a chair, but... Um, this is off-stream. This is a family member uh, that made it possible for me to have a steam deck i had an email on friday morning and i thought what uh you know and said the one's coming and then within 10 minutes it arrived at my door i was a bit flabbergasted but damn me it's exciting oh hello can i can i just ignore you lot and go that way don't try and attack me blimey that hurt I don't think I want to be in there. I've definitely come the wrong way. How am I there? How did I get there? Hell, this is the wrong way. 
Yeah, so uh, yeah, so I was playing around with the Steam Deck over the weekend. It's very exciting. This lovely little thing. I haven't got a PC, so I'm going to try uh, doing a bit of streaming from it. It seems possible. Crazily so. Ah, I go through here. Wom, wom, wom. I'm just assuming I'm going the right way. Now, teleport to Annex Trine. I don't want to go to Annex Trine. Why would I want to go to Annex Trine? No. I've got to go there. Annex Trine is all the way over there. And I have to go over here to Morn of Passing. So that wouldn't work, would it? Surely. Unless I've just completely said no. Oh, what's going on? I'm going back down. Oh, there's another path over here. I didn't see this little path. I thought I found the path. I found a tiny path which must be the way through. I certainly haven't been on this path before. Okay. Not the best. Um, oh, hello. Come on. Not the best uh, entertainment. A very slow meander to the right location. Welcome to my slow meander channel. Where I will now take forever finding my way through to the next part. Location in the game. Well, I'm going up a very big hill, so, you know, I'm going to assume it's the right way. Oh, shit. It's not the right way, is it? Oh, good God. Okay, I s Right, I've got to get back down to where you are. This is crazy. So shall I teleport again and let you carry me? I'm going to do that. Let's let's go there, because this is just silly. I am back down in Annex Trine. Off I go. Oh, I'm unable to leave it because I'm being attacked. <laughs> I'm never going to win any awards for my gameplay of this game, that's for sure. They are rude, aren't they? Okay. So, oh, map, come back. So, come back down to Trine. And be in your hand. Look at this. This is such a cheat, isn't it? I can't find my way. Let somebody on in the chat carry me. Hey. No, oh, where the hell are you? That's weird. I cannot see you. What does send tell mean? I'll do that, whatever that means. I don't know what send tell means. Does it show where I am? What's going on? Is it because I've got the wrong chat up? 
I've got the novice network chat. Is that what it is? Oh. Ah, is that you? Hey! Hello. So, you can't take me. I oh you got oh, you've got a two seater. Oh you gem, look at you. Ha ha! Oh you absolute star. Where do we go now? Tum 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 I am I've done the right click amount, yeah I'm on it. There we go. Done. Right. I, I had that bit right at least. <laughs> I went up the stairs properly. But I didn't get anywhere near the right direction. I've explored some more map. Up and around here. There we go. I've got some more things. There was obviously a little thing through there that... Uh, oh, not obviously, no. Why is that? Oh, what's this? I don't know. I missed something. I'm intrigued. So, we went this, you went this way. Do -do -do. That fate can do one. Yeah, I, I think I went up there, didn't I? I think I went up... I didn't go up here. This is... How did I miss that? How did I miss this place entirely? <laughs> I completely missed it. <laughs> Thank heaven for people who know what the heck they're doing. I went everywhere but the obvious way by the looks of it. Thank you very much for the ride. Oh, hey, okay, uh, now do we get off? Thank you so much. This is very kind. I do a very kind... Yeah. Thank you. I'm guessing I now need to do something here. Oh, there's a dungeon here. What's going on? In the Cavern of the Morn? Why am I so stupid? Oh, there's an entrance right there! Lordy Lord. Somebody give me a medal for Worst Player of the Year. I don't see party chat at all, no. In the game, no, I can't see any of that. It's too small on my TV, I can't see it. <laughs> and I don't have a keyboard for the PlayStation, so I don't I don't look at it. Uh, I probably will have to at some point. Well done, little one. As promised, I shall open the way to Som Al Summit for thee and thy companions. Thank you, Vidoff dear. Ooh. He of the Garnet Eyes. Oh. I can have a pocket healer for the dungeon. There's another dungeon. I do like the traveling companions thing, but no, that would be that would be quite cool if you want an uh, actual healer and I can stay as bard. <laughs> So that I don't keep laughing when she, when the my compa when the <laughs> the characters in the game say, "Well done, Lana," and I'm like, "Um, I did nothing." That would be amazing. Vidofne, heed me now, children of man. The domain you seek to enter has not seen visitors of your kind in nigh on a thousand years. Though I freely grant you passage, your presence will not be welcomed. No shit, Sherlock. To my kin, this mountain is revered as holy ground and resting place both. Were you the minions of Nidhogg during your ascent, for it is certain they shall take great offence at your intrusion. Mm. 
We are grateful for your warnings, gentle Rodofne. Yeah, so you were like, yeah. Massive healer, massive healer magic there, Swiftbeer. Yeah. Your healer game is strong. My final words are for thee, Dragoon. Have care to keep the stolen power thou wieldest in check, lest it breed further despair. Estinian? The way is open. Let us not tarry here. A moment. Shall we blindly forge on, knowing the dangers that await us? Choman herself is said to guard this peak. I do not fear Nidhogg's consort. Any dragon foolish enough to bar our path shall feel the sting of my lance. Spoken like a true butcher. Need I remind you that we are come to parley a peace? Let us be clear, heretic. Twas to save Ishgard and her people that I first lent my support to this doubtful venture, and tis for their sake that I go now to speak with Hraldsvelge. But I said nothing of Tjoman. Should the opportunity present itself to rid my people of one of their deadliest enemies, I shall take it. That is my duty as Azure Dragoon. You are beyond redemption. We will accomplish nothing by bickering. If we are to meet with Hreiswelger, our path leads up the mountain. We shall defend ourselves if attacked, but avoid conflict wherever possible. What other choice do we have? They seem to get along famously, as you say. Some hour oh, now. Access. A new regular duty has been added. So is this the oh, we've got to do this duty now? Ooh. So, does it matter who starts this? <coughs> With party of other players. No. What do you mean, no? It says no. Oh, I'm not the party leader. You have to start that. Hey! Well, that was good. It's because you're a healer. Healer cube, magic. Magic, magic, magic everywhere. Thank you, Swiffer. What's so bad about this place? It looks peculiarly cute. Okay, here we go. Well, hey. Yes, one or more party members are new to this duty. That'll be me. Oh yeah, I forgot everyone rushes everything. What's going on? Speedy. On the wrong thing. Ah, oh, I've got the wrong. What is going on? I've got the wrong actions shortcut. There we go. Oh, 
this is going fun. Swimmingly, dear. Swimmingly. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to press that. My loss against what? Oh, I didn't see the treasure. I missed the treasure entirely. Says so nobody else seems to care about the treasure. What are those? I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's see how we get on with this. There's a bit of poison and a little bit. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Never mind. Welcome to the new people watching. <laughs> that's the terrible chatbot that's being denied its ability to share my link to Twitter. Nobody wants the treasures. But the precious things. I've never seen them before. Is it? There it is. Oh, somebody got that. Hello. Oh, for goodness sake. It's supposed to only be on... Why is it on custom now? It's not meant to be. It's supposed to be on enemies. Which way? This way, this way, this way. Abalathian? Abalathian fox. Alrighty. Dragon slash dinosaur looking thing. Ooh. 
let's see how we get on with you. I'm very lucky to have these people who know what they're doing playing, playing alongside. That looked fun. What did it do? What are those noises? Who's oh, I don't know what's going on there. See, I don't really understand a lot of the uh, extra things that are happening. What's happening? Over God, what are you doing? You've got some real fancy actions, Swift Bear, with your character. Oh, bash. Roar as much as you like, my ass. You're down. Oh. A pair of have been added to the loot list. Are they? What are they? I don't know what they are. Oh, up that way. Everyone's going that way. Is this the last? This is the last one now, huh? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it keeps going back to the... Enemies, enemies, let me focus on enemies, you swines. Bum, bum. Touchdown! Yeah. Who else? No, no. Where'd they go? Somebody, not me, made short work of them. Oh. Ah, oh, what happened? I was just going to go and open those chests. Somebody ran away. Chilman consort of Nidhogg, we beseech you, grant a safe passage to the... Whatever that said. Safe passage to the mountain, as I thought, blind to reason like all the rest. If you would see our mission to its conclusion, you know what must be done. That's a big lance, Estinian. Such rage and rancor is there truly no other way. Yeah, the healers are flashy. Oh, those are already open. Somebody's done that. Okay. What's this? Some sparkle.
Okay. Nobody else is using the limit ray. Invulnerable? Why are you invulnerable? What have we got to get? That seems to be things we've got to get. Okay. Good growly noises, definitely very good growly noises. Bye -bye. That's some green peanut above my head. But nay bother, we're done. Hurrah! Well, that's brilliant. Look at all these things. Oh, a rogue. That's greed. Do I need that? Oh, that's a need. What is that? What is that? Uh, all classes. Mm, okay. Lancer's arm. I don't know. Why am I getting everything? This is crazy. I know no- Oh, I can't do commendation. Why not? Oh, commendations have gone. And now I've got the mouse cursor. Right, there we go, we did it. Well, green peanut, yeah. This is how I will think of that marker from now on. It is a green peanut. What else could it be? Ooh. Hello, Lana, hovering in the air. It's crystal time. Ooh, we have a third of the crystals. Okay, so... I'm loath to imagine that that's a third of the way through Heavenswood, but uh, Heavensward, but we'll see. Lana. Would seem human I was the last. I sense no other dragons nearby. What is happening? Estinian and his dragon connections are hurting him by the looks of it. Nidhogg, he roars! He knows we are here then. His fury, it bleeds through the eye. F 
fear not. I am yet my own master. But that damned worm's wrath burns hotter than flame. Come! The heart of the dragon's homeland yet lies before us. Ah, yeah, level 53. So that's um, the main story quest level, isn't it? So you're following that level to get through to the end. Yeah, I, I, I'm following you. I get you. Thus do we add another link to the chain of vengeance. So, oh, Saint Shiva, when will it end? Well, yes. Well put, Isail. Thank you so much, Swiftfear, for your support and help. It's been fantastic. To the peak of <gasps> some are. Stephen! At the end of a perilous mountain path. Whence could be seen a string of pearl-like islands floating in possibly atop a sea of clouds. To a domain where dragons and men had once lived in harmony, whose majesty no mortal eye had glimpsed for nigh on a thousand years, they came. The churning mists. Oh, brilliant. Hey, we got here. We got here to some new spots. Ah, I'm in the middle of a big open map that I know nothing of. Now, I'd heard... The only reason I'd heard of this place before in the game was because, um... You know, my carpenter or my weaver or something needed some something from here, and I couldn't obviously get here. But now I'm here, so let's find uh, let's find some bloody crystal or something to make sure I can come back again. Must be up there. Yes, the crystal. Marvellous! Oh, look at that! That makes me very happy. I attuned to the etherite, so what, what does it have now on my little... I have the churning mists there! Mog home! Fantastic. This is great! Right, Alfino! We're making swift progress through the story, actually, I think. There's so much other things that I would have... If I was just playing it by myself, like I was with the rest of the game, there's just so much other <laughs> stuff I'd have just gone, Ooh, look at that over there. Ooh, ooh, there's a blue check mark there. Ooh, what's that mean? I'll go back and do those at some point. <clears throat> we have reached it at last, the peak of Somal. It is said to be the highest mountain in all Eorzea. You know... I thought it cold and curthless, but the air here carries the chill of a dozen winters. Oh, ether current, green ether current. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just. Ooh, shiny things. Look, things over there. Yeah. I don't know about you lot, but for me, it's the ADHD, definitely. Look, something else to do. This is why I, I did nothing but play this game for five weeks. And then I thought, oh, I better do something else. But I'm glad I'm keeping up with it. I love it. Alfino ponders the means by which you might find Hrasfelger. Quick, hide the side content, Wiggle. Hide it in a box. Put it in a box. Lock it up. Throw it in the cupboard. Now that we have scaled the mountain, there seems the problem of finding Heisfelken himself. All this talk of dragons. Oh, I've got to watch the new episode of all of the Game of Dragon What's It things. That's out today, isn't it? I've got to watch that. No spoilers, folks, please. Uh, a sail, what manner of creature is that? Do you, anybody watching it, enjoying it or not? I'm I'm quite enjoying it. I'm really loving the L Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lo
Lana, do my eyes deceive me? Or, or was that a Moogle? It was a Moogle. Even I know this. It was my understanding that they only dwelt within the Twelveswood. I, I certainly never expected to see one in churning mists. I have learned, Alphino, to expect everything from this game. If the Moogle does live here, however, he may know where Hrasfeldgivler makes his lair. Quickly now, before we lose the creature completely. All right then. You go. Give me a second. Catch my breath. And then... Now I can follow. Oh, I know. I'll follow the wrong way. That's the way. I discover a new location, but I get no experience points, for I am at my full. By has gone, Lana. We must widen our search. Okay. Oh, where'd you go? Hey, it's quite pretty down here. Hello, person. Bye, person. Look at this. What on earth is that? Ah, we have a destination. Oh, we have a disturbance of stuff. The nearby air appears warped. You sense that concealing magics are at work. Yeah? So? Oh, come on. I have heard tales of these Moogles, but tis the first time I've ever laid eyes on one. They are rather adorable, aren't they? They are. What, why do you stare at me so? Can I not find a creature adorable? My heart is not truly made of ice. All right. All right, where'd you get... Oh. There's another one over there. I bet he doesn't have the same outlook. I see no evidence of this moogle of yours. You certainly wasn't a trick of the light. Mayhaps it was simply one of these strange plants shifting in a breeze. <laughs> yeah, okay, Estinian. Chill your big old boots. There is no sign of a moogle in the area. Oh. Oh, I can do nothing with those things. That's not fair. I'm sure I glimpsed the Moogle fleeing in this direction. Could he be concealing himself with magic? Yeah, probably. There's some sparkly lights over there, Arfano. Oh, I do need to spend some money. Look, I've hit, I've aid. I don't know when I hit the limit. I'm nowhere near a place where I can. Wasting all these coins. Alphano seems convinced that the Moogles hold the key to finding Hresvelger. Confound it. Could we but enlist the aid of one of the local Moogles? I am certain Hresvelger would not elude us for long. Though the eye enables me to sense the presence of dragons, I can only identify Nidhogs with any certainty. We could wander the mists for days, and I not know if we were any closer to his brood brother. Brood brother. Even. And those are days we cannot well afford to squander. Shall we divide our forces then? Lady Isale, might I ask you to question any dragons whom you judge it safe to approach? <laughs> safe to approach that dragon over there. I shall try, yet I fear the influence of Nidhogg's rage will render most of the Dravanians in the area deaf to reason. And what of you, Master Alphino? I have not yet given up on the Mughals. Lana, come with me to Gridania. I mean to petition the aid of the Moogle's kin in the Twelveswood. After that business with Moogle Mog, I dare say they will be glad to help us. 
Oh, that chat thing is not working again, is it? Assuming you have no need of me, I shall remain here. Nidhogg senses both the loss of his consort and the coming of the eye, and his attention is firmly fixed in this direction. I mean to do what I can to hold his gaze in the hope that it might delay any action against Isgard. Thank you, Astinian. Come then, Lana, let us make haste for Gridania and rendezvous at Nofika's altar. Ah, oh, but I neglected to tell you. There is an etherite of ancient construction here, which should make the return journey rather less arduous. Pray do not forget to use it. I have done that. Is there another one? Um. I mean, I, I'm going to put this link in the chat just because I feel a bit silly that the thing is not working. So that's the link that that was supposed to be in the chat with the thing. But um, feel free to ignore it. Um, so I can't. So I can't go there. I've uh, yeah. There is. I've made my connection with the etherite. So having reached a new place, I now just have to go home. All right, back to Gridania. Hydrate time. Get a drink, everybody, please. Ah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that way. I remember. Or do I? Wow, my stupid old brain forgets things real quick. ruining my posture again, sitting stupidly. I sent word to the Elder Seed Seer upon arriving in Gridania, and I'm pleased to report that she has agreed to grant us an audience. If anyone can help us to contact the Twelveswood Moogles, it is she. We are expected at the Lotus Stand. I trust you are familiar with the Conjurer stationed at its entrance? Yes, thanks for the reminder. Oh, right, okay, she does nothing. I feel... Ah, right, okay. I haven't heard new voice for this person here. If there's a new voice in this one, I can't remember. I bid you welcome, friends. The Admiral spoke of having met with you, but tis no less of a relief to see you safe and hail with mine own eyes. Hop, sir, hi, how are you? I hope... Oh, please, please, please let it be that your cold is gone. I hope... I hope you're feeling much, much, much better. We humbly thank you for agreeing to receive us upon such short notice, my lady, and for all you have done for us in our absence. Would that it were solely to express our gratitude that we came to you this day. Oh, it's not quite gone. These things linger, man. Good Lord. Alas, the tides of battle yet dictate our comings and goings. Elder Seedseer, we would beg your wisdom in a matter that may finally bring an end to the Dragon Song War. Well, I'm really lovely to see you here. Thanks so much for popping along to the stream, Hop. So it's, it's a real treat to have you along again this evening. Speak on, friend. Oh, we don't get to know what he was going to say. He's just told of the past, isn't he, what we've all been doing. I see, so you seek a means to contact these Moogles of the Churning Mists. I think we do, yes. Kupopopo, I say Kupo! My chair hunt has uh, not happened yet, I'm afraid. I am still, uh, yeah, I am still without chair. It is, uh, 
Yeah. I find certain things, certain, uh, I don't know how much everyone knows about ADHD, but I have, there's elements of it that affect people in different ways, even within all of that, you know, like any kind of uh, a neurological disorder. And um, I have a massive problem with executive dysfunction, so I just kind of get blocked from trying to do things. So I have that, and my wife's not been very well. <clears throat> so, uh, so I've been caring for her over the weekend. She was ill in bed and uh, been feeding her, so I've not been doing anything with that. But it is obviously my intention to carry on, and thank you all for your support for that, Chair. Yeah, I, I, uh, I will somehow make sure um, to get a picture. I suppose I'll put it on Twitter to say thanks. I can't. There's no way of putting pictures in here, is there? Can you put images in chat? I've never seen it. I would never know. Well, yeah, it's a big... Th yeah, she's going through some problems that will take some time, but thank you, Hopsa. Well, I'll do a link, but I won't use that Rainmaker thing to do links because it won't let it show them. <laughs> right, what's Kanasena doing? Greetings, Koopla Coop... Koopla Cop. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? I was struck by the sudden urge to bring you some fruit, Connie, and I'm jolly glad I did. Tell me more about these moogles in the sky, Koopo. I could make Rainmaker a mod, can I? What is it? Are they... Oh, will they be on the friends? Um, stream... Well, where do I do that? Where do I do this? Viewers? No. Settings. Uh, community. Roles manager. Add a new one. So if I put Rainmaker. Oh! I don't want to give them VIP. That seems a bit weird. Uh, moderator. Hold on. Why does it say artist? Why does it suddenly say I can do artist? Oh, I don't know why. Anyway, never mind. I am live. It's reminding me I'm live. Why am I farting about with diddle things, it says. Why are you doing that? <laughs> right, where was I? They added artist earlier this year. So you can... I guess you can... Um, because people make them like all the you know all the graphics for people, don't they? So you can just show your thanks to people. Yep. Uh, right, Koopla Cop. I was struck by the sudden urge to bring you some fruit, Connie, and I'm jolly glad I did. Tell me more about these moogles in the sky, Koopo. I will gladly tell you all I know, though it amounts to precious little. We encountered a Mughal high in the clouds of Dravania and had hoped that you and your kin in the Twelveswood might agree to facilitate a meeting. Pray, correct me if I am mistaken, Kuplo, but there are legends, are there not, which speak of Mughals who dwelled beyond the clouds. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you, you stream as well, Hop, so I must take a look. Indeed there are, Kupo. Long, long ago, back when the world was still young, they say my ancestors served the gods up in the heavens. Of course, that was before their masters took to bickering like spoiled children. Ah, yes, the tale of good King Mughal Mog the Twelfth. He is revered for holding fast a rope of miraculous length, that his subjects might climb down from the sky and escape to the world below. Ah, oh, you've not been able to. Well... Uh, I'm pretty sure I've followed you, so um, I'll get a notification, or let me know while we're, you know, while you're on the stream sometime when you feel like doing it again, and you know, maybe we can send viewers from here over to your channel or something. That that would be nice. You might have loads of people watching. I haven't looked, as I say, I haven't looked at at everything because I've been so busy. But I do need to do that. Ignoring the more fanciful aspects of the tale, it may well be that Cooper's ancestors hailed from the churning mists. Given how long his kin have resided in the Twelveswood, it is perfectly possible that the details of their history have faded into myth. 
Indeed, Master Alfino, such stories oft contain a measure of truth. Tis like that the Mughals of the churning mists tell similar tales of the world below. I can well imagine why the one you encountered fled at your approach. Oh, on, oh, fleeing second nature to us, we often hide when the larger races come tramping through the forest. Of course, where there's one Moogle, there's bound to be more. Oh, they're so damn cute. Which is why I've decided to take a trip to the clouds, Cooper. They surely won't be afraid to talk to me. I was hoping you might say that, Master Cooplo. You will accompany us, then. Just you try and stop me, Cooper. I'll admit the thought of venturing outside the Twelveswood is a bit unsettling, but I can hardly refuse a chance to meet my distant, distant cousins. If you will have me, I too will accompany you on this venture and lend my voice to your cause as an ambassador of Gradania. That's a big deal, isn't it? Yes, it was. Look at them. They're all shocked. And I just stand there and do a little cat blink. Well, my lady, are, are you quite certain? How oft has our nation turned to the scions of the seventh dawn in its hour of need? How oft have we asked the warrior of light to risk her life to save our own? Full many times, I say to you, and never have they refused us. Thus do I choose this day to offer mine aid to our allies for the good of the realm. They're not sure about that, are they? Is this not just? Yes, you pay attention to Kane. I most unexpected and most welcome offer, Elder Seeds here. We would be honoured by your presence. Oh, see. Oh, sorry. I've completely missed the chat. I've been enjoying the conversation in the game. In the game, um, Hopsa, you'd love to also raid my channel. That'd be great too, and it's fun. I've only done it once, um, uh, and I uh, with this channel. Obviously, we went the other day, didn't we, to um, Ellie, Ellie Joy Panic's channel, and then um, last night I went on and watched some. Um, oh, you've got to go, Swift Fear. Enjoy walking the dog. See you later. Have a nice walk. Give that dog a scruffle from me. Scruffle that dog. Um, hops of that would be lovely. Last night I watched some live music. Uh, there was a British singer, songwriter, guitarist lady. Uh, and she was featured as part of the... I think it's, it's something to do with the TwitchCon coming up, isn't it? She was featured on the front page. And uh, I went to watch her for a bit, and it was quite chill, nice midnight kind of listening to some music. That was lovely. And um, and then, oh, I wonder what his name was. I've got to find the name of the guy, because I really enjoyed He's had such a chill vibe, man. He, I, she raided this guy, and uh, about 70 people popped up on this guy's thing, and he was like, ooh, wow, look at it all. Um, and it was just a good, good time. So let me find his details. Here we are. I has a beard. That's it. How do I do the thing I want to do? How do I? What's the what's the thing for? Not host, but highlight somebody. Highlight somebody that you should go and look at. What's that? The command in chat for that is no shout out. That's it. Shout out. If they're not here, it doesn't matter, does it? Well, I'm going to try it anyway. Shout out. Do I have to put the at sign? Uh, I has it? No. I don't know. I has a beard. Does that work? I'm going to give that a go. See if that is how it works. I know not. Is that it? Has that worked? Was that popped up in the chat? Oh. It doesn't seem to have done it, does it? How do you do that? Oh, I've got my own chat rules. It's 
Oh, okay. It says only one shout out can be active. I don't, well, I've put a shout out, but it doesn't seem to have done it. They're called I Has a Beard. Oh, thank you for following, Mara Azura. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, I Has a Beard. A, I, oh, let me just type the name in because it's not doing it, is it? I can't, I don't, I can't see this shout out anyway. So I has a beard. Go and check them out at some point. They're a UK singer. And he is such a... If you like the really kind of... He calls it the sad boy vibes. If you like that. Which I quite like that. Musically it's lovely. Oh I've got too many pages open with Twitch in the front background. I'm getting confused. Right. So. Um, uh, what's next? Where do we go? Oh, we go over to Alphano. Pray return to the summit and inform our companions of these developments. I will serve as the Elder Seed Seer's guide on the journey back to Som Al. It being a path I have already trodden, I do not anticipate any great difficulties. Besides, we shall have the Elder Seed Seer's personal guard to escort us. Alrighty. Speak with Astinian at Mog Home. Off we go. Oh, I didn't spend any money. Oh, I was supposed to spend money before I did that. What a fool. What a fool I am. Never mind. I'll get there. Uh, so, the Moogle was this way. Let's go. Oh, isn't it? Wasn't it? It was that way. Yeah, down here. Where's this? Oh, there he is. There's Estinian. Well met, Warrior of Lights. Nidhogg has not stirred, but he watches us unblinking. Hmm, the Elder Seeds here herself answers your call. Then there is naught to do but wait. is going on with my computer it's getting all confused with the chat so I'm, I'm missing it I'm just going to refresh my little page there we go now I can see everything they are here Lana greetings my friends I am happy to report that our journey was mercifully uneventful devoid as the road was of Dravanians twould seem the dragons have abandoned some owl for the churning mists Elder Seeds here, may I present to you Sir Estinian, Ishgard's Azure Dragoon. Tis an honour to meet you, Sir Estinian. I have heard many tales of your order's extraordinary skill and courage. Friends, I feel it only right to inform you that we are not alone. The Mughals are all around us, even as we speak, and I should imagine they are more than a little concerned by the horde of strangers that have descended upon their home. Mayhap now would be an opportune moment to introduce ourselves. Much Mughal action coming on. Hey! This should serve. They're hiding, of course, but there are so many of them, Koopo. I am Khan A. Senna. My companions and I have braved the long road from the Twelves Wood to share words with you. On this, the occasion of our first meeting, we bring an offering of light and wind. Ooh. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, such a gentle and pleasing glow, Koopo. <laughs> Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey! <laughs> I love it. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love that. That's great. I just got to take a screenshot. <laughs> if it'll let me. It gets confused and puts that little thing. I am Moglin, the chieftain of this Mughal clan. I didn't make a different voice, did I? Never mind. Oh, Chieftain Moglin, it is an honour to meet you. Greetings, I am Kublo Kop, ambassador of the Twelvewood Mughals. A Mughal from the world below. Your hide is of a different hue, but that Pom is unmistakable. I might need a moment here, Coupeau. My companions were no less surprised to learn of your existence here amongst the clouds. I hope they did not startle you over much in their eagerness to make your acquaintance. Full well can I imagine your wariness. I am told that men have not walked here in nigh on a thousand winters. Mayhap you will forgive them their forwardness when I unfold to you the grave matter which first brought them into your midst. My companions crave an audience with the great worm Hrausvelger, that they might negotiate an end to the war twixt man and dragon. An end to the war, you say? Hmm. I trust you, Karesena, the light of peace shines brightly within your soul. But I'm afraid the same cannot be said of your friends. To be plain, we did not hide ourselves because they were the first of your kind to be seen here in a thousand years. Well, not only because of that, we hid because we smelled dragon blood. These skies are home to many, many dragons. While some crave peace, such as Freisvelger, many others crave the opposite, such as Nidhogg. Suffice it to say we are worried that the presence of your blood-spattered warrior friends will attract the attention of the nastier kind and invite destruction into our happy home. Oh, hello. Now just a moment, Chieftain. Lana here may have doled out the odd thrashing or two, but it's always been for really good reasons. <laughs> Am I having too much fun? She is a champion of the Twelvewood Mughals, and I'll not hear her good name slandered. Now, now, Ambassador, let's not ruffle each other's fur. I shall, of course, take your testimony into consideration. If I may, Chieftain, there is little room for trust to strangers. Might we not take this opportunity to learn more of each other? An excellent suggestion, Cooper. In the interests of fostering friendship and keeping an eye on you, I extend to you the hospitality of Mokho. Prove yourselves worthy of our assistance and it will be yours. I shall be watching, Kupo. Outrageously cute, isn't it? Outrageously cute. There we are. Wow. Well, isn't that lovely? Oh. Look at them in their lovely fluffy fluffy throne. Tell me, in the world down below, do all of your kind look so different from one another? It must be terribly disconcerting. What was it Kupla Cop called you again? I'm Lana Zistaya. Lana. Hmm. Your names are as odd as your appearance. Have you ever considered a nice Mughal name? Moglin is taken, by the way, Kupo. As are Moghan, Mogmug, and Mogwind. 
these being the names of the three wise moogles who will administer the momentous challenges that I have devised to measure your worth. I call them the trials of trustworthiness. Undertake these trials and we shall soon see whether or not you are worthy of our aid. Ah, a titanium bastard sword, a titanium axe, a titanium claymore, a titanium Ushigatana. I'm going to get the claymore and put it to one side for when I do the Dark Knight. Which I need to do. Oh, I think that's me with no more space in my inventory. Oh dear. It is a full inventory. Oh gosh. Where's Drazan when you need them? Okay. Uh, oh, so much stuff. Chocobo saddlebag. Oh, I've got some space over there. What can I put in there? Stuff I don't need, man. Oh, though, yeah. Silver sand, gold sand, mithrite sand. I don't know. I can't remember how. I, I cannot remember how or know how rare they... Oh, that's not very rare, is it? Let's just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Cedar branch. Chestnut log, I don't know. Hemp and yarn? Why have I got that? Cotton yarn, yeah, I don't need that. Hippogriff, raptor leather. God, all these things are easy to come by, aren't they? Old goat leather? Bye. Don't know about that. Paste, paste skin. Okay. Oh my gosh, so much tat in my inventory. So, so, so much tat. Um, well, sort that a little bit. Uh, right, that gives me six more spots before I have to worry. Oh, hello. Right, okay, I am going to take a tiny little comfort break because it's been three hours. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, speak to you all very soon.
Hello, 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 hello. Hello, back again. It is me. Um, <clears throat> thanks for being patient with me. Just why? Stretched my legs, went to the bathroom. Okay. <clears throat> so, where are we? What are we going to do? We've got a, these three trials. We've got these three trials. So I've got another hour of streaming till uh, it's 10 p.m. British summer time. Uh, so I'm going to stream till 11. Got another hour, and um, stick around. And that little quote is the last line of a poem by James Sheard. I'm going to read at the end uh, this evening. So Moghan's trial. Moghan would test your trustworthiness with a trial. <coughs> Hello, yes, I am Moghan, the foremost alchemist in Mogholm, if you must know. If your tummy's gloopy, <laughs> or your wings are droopy, I've a potion to fix that. Well, that's good, Moghan. What well, I would if I didn't keep running out of ingredients. Luckily, you're here to do my chore. Well, uh, t t trial? Yes, go forth, mighty adventurer, and mightily pluck three sprigs of cloud's breath for me. You'll find it blooming near the entrance of... Isle Tom. It's not the safest of places, so don't let yourself be too distracted by the pretty flowers, Kupo. Okie doke. Where? Oh, it's over there. Uh huh. Okay. Let's go back up here then. Get out. Can have a look. Well, it's terribly cute down here. I think I'm... Am I going the right way? I don't know. No. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Which I am. Okay, let's just go there. <coughs> um... Okay. Over here... Ah, there's a sparkly. There is tis one. Ooh. Bum 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 bum. Love a nice string instrument. Ah, there's another one. Where is the other? Over there. Oh, hello, who's that? Oh, it's that. What, what is that little creature? What is it? What a flying squid. Okay. There's the third one. Alrighty. Let's 
get back, go and see him. Let's see whether he's going to give me more to do or whether they will... What's a summoning stone? This stone bears a striking resemblance to a chocobo. On close inspection, the stone appears to be a large horn. Perhaps if you were to blow into one of the holes, it would summon a chocobo, though it may be prudent to leave a rental fee just in case. Oh, I see. That's what that is. Hey, that's Swift Fear just stood there while they're off to go and take their dog for a walk. One of the many guises of Swift Fear, that is. Sounds like a good tale, doesn't it? The many guises of Swift Fear. Mogwin's Trial. Oh, I better go. Uh, Mogwin's Trial. Mogwin's the name and art is my game. When it comes to painting, there are none in Mogholm who can match my talent with a brush. I know why you have come. Chieftain Moglin has demanded that I test your trustworthiness, but as I trust no one to create art that will satisfy me, I instead charge you with retrieving a masterpiece I seem to have misplaced. It was an ambitious and in innovative work, guaranteed to fetch at least four coupon nuts on the open market. You must find it. Question the masses. Surely a pebble painted with such vibrant colour and unmistakable panache cannot have escaped the notice of every Moogle in Mogholm. A pebble. A pebble. I have one of the most important of difficult jobs, watering the flowers, Kupo. You can't put too much and you can't put too little. Truly, it's an art form. That's very good. Mogwin is missing his masterpiece, Kupo. You mean that paint-smeared mess of a pebble? I've not seen it recently. A fact for which my eyes are profoundly grateful. Hey, what are you crafting, Hopser? Is it... I can't remember what it, whether you said what it was you did, whether it was art or... Was it art? Painting figures? Figure... Figures? Figures? Am I right? I do get mixed up with things. I have to... I do apologise. Did you have any trouble finding clowns? Breath, I do need it quite urgently. Oh, it's there. Crafting some potions. Oh! <laughs> you mean crafting potions in the game. Tomorrow's weekly reset. Ah, yes. I, I know little of these things still, so... The reset is Tuesdays, isn't it? And then all of you, like, old hands in the game will go in and kick some ass somewhere for some glamoury rewards, I believe. Uh, speaking of which, how are you feeling, miss? Should you ever feel your pom losing its bounce, then I'm your moogle. Oh, what do I get? A titanium lance. Titanium jamahad has a pugis arm, a rogue's arm, or a shield. I don't know if I want any of those things. I will take the quick tongue materia. Tuesday, 9 a.m. UK time. Oh, okay. Ah. There's so many different sort of resets for things, I get confused. And I'm, so, I'm not far enough into the game for it to make a difference to me yet, am I? Maestro Mogwin has misplaced his masterpiece, Cooper. Oh, happy day. Oh, I can't keep doing that high voice. If I am the swifter in finding it, I will soon have a genuine Mogwin for the price of a little perspiration. Honestly, who has four coupon nuts just lying about to spend on such luxuries? I will take my time learning, and I will have to learn many times before I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way Mogto. Their name is Mogto. Oh no, that's the other person I've got to speak to. Oh no, let's just speak to Mogto. I don't know much about his stone, but I do know Mogwin's been creeping out the back way to some Al Summit from time to time. Cooper, maybe he left it up there. Maybe he did. 
Yeah, it's hard, isn't it, to... Um, I think it's up here. It must be up here, then. Um, over and over and over again. Yeah, I bet. I uh, only managed to get through something earlier by the skin of my teeth and the help of Swiftfear, who helped me out in uh, duty. And then Isala was praising me for my brave heroism, and that was quite ludicrous because I did nothing. Speak with Mogwin. Oh dear. I should have spoken with Mogwin instead. I can't go down there now. Anyone would think I'd never played any games before sometimes when you see me playing this, I swear. You know, four decades of gaming and I'm still... I'm still playing like a novice. There are sometimes I wish I could hold a torch so I could see, like the character could hold a torch so I could see in the shadows. Ah, there's Mogwin. I really thought it was going to be up above because he said go up above. Anyway. We'll accept your trustworthiness with a trial. Yes. Yeah. I thought I was supposed to go and get the stone. Anyway. Yes, you have pleasure speaking with Mogmug. Mug back, mug mug. I know, I know. I am the fluffiest, most enchanting creature you have ever laid eyes upon, Kupu. <laughs> it isn't easy being this adorable. <laughs> That's what my daughter would say. I can barely take a stroll outside without those relentless Trophanians throwing themselves at me. Why they look as if they might just gobble me right up. In any case. Fleeing their overbearing adulation is growing a bit tiresome. Your trial, madam, is this. Find these ardent archosaurs and slap some manners into them, Coupeau. <laughs> I see. Charming. Perhaps a firm smack on the snout will teach them to appreciate my charm from afar. Hey, Drazan! Look, I have kept my inventory a total mess just for you. <laughs> In fact, five minutes ago, were you here, you'd have seen me delete six things so I could fit some more stuff in. <laughs> how was your weekend? Did you, how you went, your friend's wedding went well, I trust. I hope they had good weather. Well, all of you, I hope you all had good weather. Thank you so much for popping by, Drazan. It's really nice to see you. Drazan, Mike. Hi. Hello, well, what did you find out, Kupo? I found out that it's uh, probably you've left your stone up on the mountain. Uh, I do seem to recall leaving my pebble out in the sun to dry. Second part of your trial command. Oh, another part. Go adventure and retrieve my master before some art starved admirer swipes the stone for himself. How's your day been, Mike? Yes, that would be a very dull stream indeed, I think. You're probably right. Yeah, I'm, um... Uh, yeah. I've been trying to figure things... Oh, I'm going the wrong... Oh, this doesn't feel like the right way. Oh, this might be the right way. I've been trying to figure out how to sort out the, uh... debacle that is my... Uh, oh, no, that is not the... Oh, I've got to go up. Oh, I need to go the other way. The debacle that is my uh, move from trial game to full game. But, um... Yep, it seems I've really made it difficult for myself. I've looked into it a lot over the weekend, and the whole... Having this PlayStation account on a Canadian account... Uh, is um, yeah it's made it all a bit of a mess now where the hell did I go uh, earlier how did I get up there you're doing very well 
A tiring day Mondays, yeah. I'm not too bad. I've been looking after my wife who's not doing so well, but it's uh yeah, it's a long story with that, but um yeah, we're we're okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so having having a Canadian account for this PlayStation uh, on PlayStation for this game and putting so many hours in, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to start again, but uh, it's going to be very costly because of the the way the pound has crashed. To buy the to buy the full game on the UK is forty five pounds. To buy it on Canada is eighty dollars with eighty Canadian dollars with ten dollars tax which currently is eighty UK pounds so that's really annoying and then I'd have to use um, Canadian currency to um, pay for the subscription yeah 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 and the Canadian cards three weeks ago were um, two-thirds of the price they are now in UK pounds because obviously the currency's gone haywire so that's really annoying it's just the way it is how do I get up here uh, I've heard that it might be because I looked yeah, because because I'm on here, I had a Euro European Square Enix account, but as soon as I registered and linked this with that, then the Mog Station account is North American. Yep. So yeah, I've I've looked into it. I will have to pay for my. Um, yeah, I either ditch this whole game that I've played so far, which I just can't do. I can't... Well, obviously I could do it, but I don't really want... It's like, how many hours have I done now? I don't know, 270 or something? That would be silly. Um, yeah. And, um... Yeah, and then... I have to buy a... Con oh, oh, yeah, here's some other news. Uh, family members, Drazan, um, have made it... To, well, essentially, because of family member, I now have a Steam Deck. So that's fun. That arrived on Friday. That was a, that was a, a surprising day. Dead lucky. So that means I can try and play this on Steam, on the Steam Deck. Uh... Ah, uh, run the subscription through that. Yeah, that's still got to be Canadian to link with this. It's all got to be North American. I've looked into it. It's horrible. I spent three hours yesterday looking into it. And I'm... Yeah. I'm sad and annoyed with myself. Oh, can't walk off there. Maybe if I just go back... Sometimes I just can't tell my way around here. Yeah, it's a mess. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing you, you talking about Steam Deck. Yeah. I didn't know I was getting one. Yeah, hell. Yeah, I got... Um, so I got the 64 gig one with a 512 gigabyte card. Micro SD card. I, I played a few games on it. Messed around. I'm going to try streaming from it. I've worked out. How, I did a private little stream to YouTube to see if it works, and it seems to. So I'm going to, I'm going to try streaming some um, a game called Potion Permit from that. That's a little cozy game. You must have heard of Potion Permit, Mike. Hi, Swift Fear. Your puppy needs to learn what loose leash walking is. Oh. I'd have never had a dog, Swift Fear, so I don't even know what that is. I do have your stone, Mogwin. Mogwin, your stone is here. 
Oh, you used to work at PCube. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Only I played the demo uh, for about three hours over the weekend. And then I found a code for it for about £8 and bought the full game. And Steam did not did not share my cloud save when I installed it. So I've lost three hours of... I will have to start from the beginning. <laughs> that was annoying. Uh, loose leash is when a dog that isn't straining at the end of the leash. Oh, trying to pull you along with them. Oh, yeah, that is very simple. Now you put it like that. Morgan, this is my work. It is not... Is it not exquisite? I call it Contemplations of Zenith. Thank you, madame. At least I can exchange my art for those delectable Kupo nuts. Chieftain Mogrin will hear of this valorous deed. Yes, loose as in not taught. Yeah, it makes sense. I know no, it's all laid out in front of me. It makes lots of sense. I don't need Savage Aim material. I don't need more. What should I get? What's that? Who's that? That is for... God, I can't even see that red text with my eyesight three hours of looking. I don't even know what... Oh, a red mage. I certainly don't know anything. I don't know anything about those. Don't know anything about those. Conjurer white mage. Oh, yeah, I've got one of those. Let's have that. Oh, that'd be cool. I tried to play with that earlier. Swift Fear. A 50 level 54 thing, Swift Fear. But my white mage, maybe I can actually do some good once I've leveled it up. Puppies are just excitable little things. Defeat Archosaurs. Where do I defeat the Archosaurs? Out there. I've got, oh, I've got to go back. Which way out? Uh, okay, that way. That way. Mike, that's really kind of you to offer to help me with the inventory stuff. Off. I, th I think... Yeah. I think, well, yeah, I, I will definitely take you up on that as soon as um, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they just look like dinosaurs. They look like, like mini T-Rexes, don't they? Up here, they did anyway. Yeah. You are a T-Rex. You naughty, naughty things. You are T-Rexes. Rain of death on the Archosaurs. Oops, wrong one. Happy to help with anything and everything. I haven't played this game since the original release in 2010 for nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Talking of an, of an original game that's just been released, although I've, I've played more... <laughs> I've played more Hocko Life. Had a great four-hour stream yesterday playing it. Had had quite a few people watching. It was lovely. Some people had played it. Some people were going to go and buy it. Had a right chill time with that. That was lovely. I I have got the fishing rod. Yeah. On Hocko Life, you mean, yeah. From Dirith, Dilith, Dirith, not, not, I keep thinking it, I, I grew up in Wales, I'm Welsh, so I keep thinking it says Dilith, but Dirith, Dirith, that's it. Dirith, the fishing Dirith. I have got the fishing rod. I do want to talk about the weird mechanic <laughs> for fishing. Uh, 
I have now got bait as well. Do you like the weird mechanic for fishing? Some people couldn't get it. Uh, at first it was kind of odd, but I... You know, isn't it great when people do things differently? I think it's fine. It's a little bit more interesting than the Disney Dreamlight Valley one where you just keep pressing the action bar every, you know, every time the circle goes. And it's better than the potion permit one. You were able to humble my Dravanian devotees. Wonderful, you are as capable as I am captivating, Kupo. Still, my precious perfection does not excuse those louts from pursuing me so mercilessly. Their tongues lolling and bellies rumbling. I do kind of wish that it had a kind of cross-platform save, though. Because I was awfully tempted, having been given this... Uh, Steam Deck to um, to get it on there as well. <laughs> I thought, oh no, I can't play the whole thing through on two things from the beginning. The Dvaranians and their ilk have much to learn about acceptable acts of admiration. Oh, what do I get to choose now? That is an archer's arm. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, that's that's mildly useless that doesn't seem very good although I think I need one of those for something else what an arcanist grimoire two-handed thaumaturge's arm machinist's arm oh see that's fun savage might material I might get the machinist arm for my machinist Yeah, I mean, cross saves would just be nice, wouldn't it? But um, I appreciate that you've got to buy it on different, buy games on different platforms. I know, I understand. But um, Epic's doing that a lot, are they? Oh, okay, but I, I, yeah, I don't really play much of the Epic games. You know, the Epic developed games. You'd get an entire set. You never of of which which uh, of which of the stuff I just didn't you get, <laughs> or the stuff that I have. Like I did have this, and then you. I think you said the other day, didn't you, Sophie, that I it's the best stuff. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean. Although these things did come in, which were quite nice. I don't know if they're the, they seem to be. It seems to say that they're better than the other things. So uh, I don't know how that happened. Maybe it's just because I added the stuff on. Oh, well, there we go. Um, Mogwin's judgments. Where is Mogwin? Mogwin, Mogwin. There you go. Oh, my apologies if I'm a bit sluggish. I think I'm feeling quite tired. I had a bad sleep over the weekend, but there we are. I'm too far away. Chief Mullins ready to pass judgment on my trial performance. I don't even know what those are. Those are obviously higher level dungeons that I don't need. I'm nowhere near at yet. Funky! Hello! How are you? A bit late to the stream today. Hope we're having fun. I'm having great fun in Moogleland. Thanks very much. How's your weekend been? Oh. Swift for throwing numbers at me like I understand. I'm going to nod. You can't hear me. But just in keeping with your character in Final Fantasy XIV... Just imagine I am nodding at you right now and you look at me and you think you have no idea what I mean or what I'm doing. 
You're good. Thank you. Been busy with the kid who has a cold. Oh dear. Ah. Your kid needs lots of cold hugs and cuddles, or you do. Well, both is fine. You can hug and cuddle each other. Your math nerd is melting my brain. Yes, you must lock your math brain in her room for a bit. <laughs> Well, I'm going to finish seeing what Moglin has to say. I did a funny voice earlier for it. I don't know. Oh, I've got to sit forward on my sofa again. Ah! Damn it. I had so much to sort out. Keep streaming. Four days a week now. I'm doing four-hour streams each day. I'm doing, and I'm enjoying that. And um, I've got to get the chair sorted and figure out licensing and how it's actually going to work for this game to get it full. Lana! If it it is oh what am I doing? What did I do for a voice? His voice, their voice, Moglin's voice. Lana, if that is what you insist on calling yourself, you have completed the trials of trustworthiness administered by the taskmasters Moghan, Mogmug, and Mogwin. During these grueling tests of character, I closely observed your conduct as well as that of your companions. And I am decided, Kupo, gather your friends before me now, so that I need not repeat myself needlessly. Gather my friends. Where are my friends? Speak with. Oh, go, go and speak with each of them. Just stretch this out a bit, shall we? Hey, Funky, we had a tiny little moment earlier of Stephen Critchlow's voice welcoming me into Som Al. It was lovely. Are these trials over then? My tasks have been little more than household chores. If our hosts elect not to grant their aid after working us like pack chocobos, I shall demand compensation in coupon nuts out of principle, but I hope it will not come to that. Let us hear the chieftain's verdict, shall we? They came. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. They came. <laughs> I think I clipped it. I think I clipped that little moment. Standing here in Mogholm, my thoughts turn inevitably to the legend of good King Mogolmog the Twelfth and his seat in the heavens. Like most, I thought it no more than a myth, a story for younglings that grew with the telling. But every passing moment, with every passing moment, I became more certain that we have discovered the origin of the tale. Full eager am I to hear what the chieftain has to say. Full eager. What sorcery is this, that my heart should stir at me? Fluffiness? <laughs> Lana, I was... Oh, no matter. What is it? Chieftain Moglin has made his decision. Well, let us not keep him waiting, then. Did I clip it? I did clip it, didn't I, I think? I think it's there. I put I put the button on the back action, quick actions of the dashboard to sort of go... Clip that! I'm learning, slowly. Cupola Cop. We've become such friends, Cooper. My Moogle cousins love to sing and dance as much as I do. See all that squeakiness. I had to do a silly voice. Chieftain Moglin has finally come to a decision, has he? Well, I suppose I'd better flutter over and see him then. God knows what I'm doing. Where's Estinian? He'll be dead thrilled at everything. Everything's far too cute round here for him. Estinian, ah, oh, you're over there. Where are you? Oh, there. <laughs> hey, the links are working from Rainmaker now. Fantastic. I'm rescuing him from purgatory, yeah. He's had to sit there for hours looking at fluffy... fluffy buns. How go your trials, warrior of light? I myself have been sent on a number of expeditions to chastise the local dragon population. Did not their chieftain wish to avoid inflaming the Dravanians? Such contradictions aside, our hosts seem entranced by the height of my leap. <laughs> they compared me to Mog, a lance-wielding Mughal, lance Mughal warrior of Eld, who also favoured such attacks. It was meant as a compliment, I expect, but I doubt these furry lumps could op outleap a caracal lamb, much less a dragoon. Conclude your business here swiftly, Lana. I like not this place. 
as you said, as you said, Swift Fear, he not hap. He terribly unhap. There is little hap for Astinian. Get me out of here, wench, he says. My voice for Astinian is on point, is it? Well, that's fun. Thank you. Thank you very much, Funky. I'm trying. I had a fun time doing the Vath voices earlier. And they seem to be quite in keeping with the one-voiced Vath that we heard. Never have I seen such determined workers, Kupo. It would have taken us moons to complete all those dreary chores and niggling errands. And have our labours proven the purity of our intentions, Chieftain? Without a doubt, in fact, there was never really all that much doubt to begin with. You were, after all, already friends with a fellow Mughal. But you see, before any meeting with Reisvalga could take place, certain preparations needed to be made. And what better way to help you pass the time than by having you perform all the tiresome tasks that no one ever wants to do, Kupo? He's pleased to punch with themselves, aren't they? Wiggling their ass. Grrrr. <laughs> Grrrr, says this, didn't you? <laughs> oh, hello. What the hell was that? Oh dear, the, 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 the horn! Bring out the horn! Quickly now! <laughs> Bring out the horn! <laughs> you keep running out of materials to make your potions, Hopsa. Tough old business. We blow on this wondrous instrument whenever we wish to speak with the great worm, Kupo. We, uh, we haven't perhaps been treating it with care it deserves of late, and I think Morgan may have sat on it, so we need some time for cleaning and polishing and straightening. No lasting harm done, though. Now you need simply head to Zenith, the worms dwelling to the west, and give the horn a good toot. <laughs> a good toot. <laughs> We are in your debt, Chieftain. Thanks to your noble gift, we shall finally have a chance to plead our case to Hrasvelga. Very possibly, yes, but I wouldn't get my hopes up too high, Kupo. The old worm isn't terribly fond of him. Uh, your concern is appreciated, but I am quite certain that Hrasvelga will welcome our overtures. Should we ever arrive at his lair? Come, we have squandered enough time already. Ooh, off he goes. Not even waiting for a response from everyone. Chieftain Moglin, we thank you for your gracious hospitality, though we must soon take our leave. I pray that we may continue to nurture the shoots of this new-sprung friendship twixt earth and sky. Of course, of course, Kupro. Visit us whenever you wish. Consider Mogholm your home amongst the clouds. Adorable beans that they are. Oh, little wavy tiny arms. Hey! Oh, speak with Morkan. Thanks for the help, Kupo. I doubt I would ever have found the time for all those rotten chores. Hey, it wasn't my idea if the chieftain had spent a little less time sitting about and a little more time chieftaining. <laughs> Things would never have gotten so messy in the first place. And he was the one who sat on the horn, by the way. <laughs> what a tattletale. But now all the errands are done and the horn is fixed, so all's well that ends well, eh, Koopo? More money and um, experience that I can't use. Yay! Someone made a cute little clip with Genie's voice from Aladdin. Totally captures the spirit. Oh, to be free. The, um, the animated one, Robin Williams one. Robin Williams as the Genie. Or the... Uh, 
Yeah. Robin Williams was great, man. Morgan's ready to lead you out of Mog Home. I'd better pay attention, otherwise I'll get lost. You know me. I haven't watched the Will Smith one. Um. Yeah. I expect you're eager to be on your way. I, did I mention your friend was looking for you, Cooper? If not, Alphino is looking for you. <laughs> I'll be waiting just outside, stretching my wings. Let me know when you're ready to depart. I don't mind Will Smith and things. Will Smith's quite good. But I haven't watched that well. To the best of my knowledge, we have all that we need for our trip to Zenith. And I believe the Elder Seeds here in a retinue will soon be making the journey back to Gridania. It would be remiss of us, I think, not to convey our gratitude to them prior to going our separate ways. Shall we? Okay. Chatty chat chat. Oh, have we got a voiced bit? No. Alfino, Lana, I do humbly thank you for what has been a most enlightening experience. Were it not for your pioneering spirit, the existence of these Moogles might never have been revealed to us. Tis we who should be thankful, Elder Seedseer. Were it not for your timely diplomacy, diplomacy, they would never have chosen to reveal themselves at all. And twas your presence, Kuplo Cop, that ultimately won us their trust. Must have taken great courage to leave the sanctuary of the Twelvewood, and we are exceedingly glad that you did. It was my pleasure, Kupo. I've made so many new friends, and have so many fantastic tales to tell my kinsmoogles back home. And it is our home, it is to our home that we must now return. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal, my friends. Oh, look at that. Safe journey, Elder Seeds here. We too must be on our way. Christvelger awaits. Indeed they do. It's not just a... Uh, oh, hold on. What if light pray attend closely to your companion? Sir Estinian, beneath that stoical facade, a storm of anguish seethes unseen. Noddy nod 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 Okay. Uh ignore the green check mark. Do not get distracted by the green check mark. Where do I have to go now? Over there. Oh, have a drink of water, everyone. Or whatever you're drinking. I am. Bum -ba -da -ba. Some bagpipes. Have you said your goodbyes and dabbed away your tears, Cooper? Then we are indeed ready to go. Oh, more money and experience. Stop it. As Chieftain Moglin already explained, the shiny instrument we gave you is the best means of grabbing Heisfelger's attention. I'll come along and show you the way to Zenith. That's the big palace where you need to blow the horn. Blow the horn! Don't know why I find that funny, but I do. <laughs> first things first, though, we need to make for Asa. Oh, and watch out for rampaging dragons. Maybe that should have been the first thing, Kupu. Yeah. Tell me about the rampaging dragon. The voice sells it. Blow the horn! Toot toot toot! Blow it! Whoa, right, okay. Uh, up through there, right. Which way was it? That way. Onward! Got 20 more minutes. We can do some. We can at least get to where we're going and see what's what, can't we? Uh, I do not want to do the fate. I'm running past. Toot toot. I say toot toot, everyone. Oh. 
Oh, right. Oh, see, now these are actual dragons. Yeah. No. Oh, okay, they're not there yet until I do this. And now they're there. Okay. Moss dragon in waiting. Hello, hello, hello. Dragon in waiting. Any more for any more? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, that seems. Oh, oh no, I've got. It's got to be this way, isn't it? It's like a little yellow, not yellow. Ah, oh, it doesn't see. Is it this way? Maybe it goes all the way around there. Yeah, come on, let's get on the back of something. Or be dragged by my neck. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Yeah, indeed. Bad kitty, yeah. Bad, bad, bad. Ah, more dragon. More dragon. Oh, hello. Oh, God, three dragons. This seems very, 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 very naughty. Ah! Oh, hello. What did I do there? <laughs> well, I am doing really badly here. Can anybody tell that I'm tired? Where's my chocobo? Stop it! You didn't know you could get that mount? Well, I did. I, I mean, it just appeared. I didn't know. It just happened. You bought it. <sighs> wow. Is it not possible to, to get it anymore? Or you just thought, bah, whatever. I think I just got it from doing a dungeon or something. I think it just appeared. Oh, my back. Dear God, sitting in the wrong place. Uh, Moss dragon, stay away from me. It's an achievement mount, is that right? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I bought it with my achievement points. Maybe that's what I did. From the chap in Gridania. Gridania, Gridania, Gridania. You say Gridania and I say Gridania. Let's cool the old thing off. Hello, Moghan. Things were a bit bitey for a while. <laughs> a bit bitey. 
Were they a bit bitey, love? Oh, bless. But I think we've arrived in one piece, Koopo. I wonder what has the dragon so awfully snappy. I mean, the bad ones are always bad, but they seem worse than usual. Okie dokie, what should we have here? Titan of male offending. Titan of cuirass of maiming. Diamond skin jacket of striking. We'll have none of that. We'll have none of it, love. We'll have none of it. Fretful about the weather? Hmm, we may have a small problem, Koopo. When the winds are high like this, Rasvelga invariably abandons his lofty perch and heads to the lands below to hunt. Oh, I've... what? If you tried blowing the horn now, I doubt he'd hear it. I suggest we stop at the clearing up ahead and rest until the wind dies down. All right. Talking of achievements, it seems that um, once... Uh, I might, did I say this earlier? You see, I'm just waiting for Twitch's little bots of whatever they do, checking on what you're doing, to notice that I've streamed for seven days uh, and that all the other things are all the other things are done, and then uh, yeah, affiliate. This bash bosh. It's all right, isn't it? Ow, did it, where, where am I going? Oh, there, I'm going there. Up the hill. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, well, I mean, well, it, it probably will be, it'll be one of these days. This, I don't know how long it takes, but it'll update anyway and tell me I've done everything probably tomorrow. It'll tell me that, but uh, whether it'll then automatically say yes. I don't know how that works. Who here has been um, made uh, affiliate? How does it work? Does it just happen immediately like that? Like, snap your fingers, bang. <clears throat> it's not my doing, it's all of you lot, Funky. I just came here. Oh, tick some boxes. I can take boxes. Yeah, I do appreciate that uh, there is a fluke of happenings that have meant that, uh, you know, two weeks. Two weeks is, uh, <laughs> I think that doing, you know, starting and then streaming for two weeks and, and having an aff affiliate is ludicrous, isn't it? But that's just, um, yeah. I, you know, it is what it is. It's happened, and um, and I'm I'm happy doing it. Thank you, Funky, that you're. I'm the reason we stay. Oh well, bless you. Well, you've got their hops. I must, as I say, we'll check out your your stream when you're feeling better. This should do nicely, Coupeau. The winds will likely have died down by tomorrow, but until then, we might as well make ourselves comfortable. If we must interrupt... Oh, sorry, Alphano, <laughs> you are not a Moggle. Moogle. If we must interrupt our journey so close to its end, I suppose this place is as good as any. It's almost like the game's telling me to chill and just wind down for the evening now, because it's nearly 11pm in the UK. It is, in fact, 8 minutes to 11. And mayhap a brief respite from the hardships of the road. Oh, it's perfect, isn't it? This Look at this. We're coming to our end. We're going to do this and we're going to have a poem and we're going to have a little talk. And mayhap a brief respite from the hardships of the road will help to clear our minds in readiness for the coming parley. Very well then, I believe a campfire is in order. Anyone got a campfire? Leave the gathering of fuel to me. I acquired a keen nose for firewood during my time in the frozen wastes of Curthus. I was in big news gaming wide. Was I? I mean, I know. Was it? I mean, big news? Was it? Oh, bless you, Hopser. 
I suppose it was on that website, wasn't it? But, I mean, it was just on Reddit, I think, was the most. I mean, I know... Uh, I can't even remember the name of the website that, that that interviewed me now about it. But I know that ludicrous numbers of other places kind of, you know, hashed over all the stuff and put it out again and again and again and again. Because I was just trying to search for plays me and Stephen had done together. And then there was these two pages, three pages of different articles in Japan and China and everything. And it was like, what the hell? is this games radar that was it thank you yeah nice person from games radar got in touch on reddit oh Estinian. hmm clear our minds tis master alphano whose mind needs clearing the thought of meeting a great worm in the flesh has befuddled the boy it's a good word isn't it befuddled did you see him stroll away as if these ruins were not crawling with deadly beasts follow him lana and see that the wildlife does not make a meal of our young friend we will have the camp ready by the time you return. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we should do that quickly. Should we do that quickly? Oh, I want the campfire to be the end of the stream. Where's he gone? Oh, Alfino. I was just getting ready for me. Roasting my chestnuts by the fire. Up. Oh, oh, hello. Run away. Run away. Oh, good clip cloppy noises. Well, the campfire is one of your favourite bits. Cool. Ah! Oh, I've got to go down. Why am I going up? Why did I see those signs and assume they said up when in fact they do not? They say down. Uh, unless it's going to take forever. <laughs> I do. I, I, you know, I gotta go to bed at some point. Not that I'm very good at going to bed, to be honest. I'd stay up far too late. Defeat the threatening monsters. Oh, I'm sure that wind sprite will have a go as well. Oh, it's a... It's a... Oh, I thought... Get, get off! Oh, hello. Oops. Yeah, now it's definitely going to attack me now. Oh, you fool. Oops. Hello. Why am I... Con why am... Oh, Rob is tired. Rob does not know what he's doing. Yeah, they do. Even though I'm only by myself today. I had Swift Fear was helping me out earlier. In some... In some dungeons. Right, where's the other one? Over there. Over this way somewhere? Where is the purple light? Oh, go away. Oh, all right, lower Sky Lord. Lower Sky Lord. All aboard the lower Sky Lord.
<laughs> hips, hips the baby name, yeah. Come on, Skylord. Off to, off to ballet practice. Ah no, I've done it again, I've done the area of attack thing and now everyone will be trying to kill me. Oh dear. Oh no, luckily not. Brrrr, said the horrible thing. Now where do I go? Back there. Yeah, good luck me figuring out which way it is. Uh, up here somewhere. It looks interesting. By which you mean Rob is somehow managing even though he's making a hash of it. <laughs> uh. You have an MMO mouse with 12 buttons? Well, that's fancy. Funky, you fancy. You got fancy shit going on. <laughs> Was it £3,000 for a mouse? <laughs> I see I was right to worry about the boy's safety. Once Alphano returns with the wood, we can set about supper. The Ice Queen has filled a pot with what looked like stew ingredients ready for the fire. <laughs> He's such a miserable git. <laughs> Come on, Estinian. Fancy Funky, yeah, that's you. Hey! They've got some... So where's the fire? Come on, Alphano. It's lasted 10 years. That's pretty damn good. Is that all we've got, Alphano? That'll be some... That fire will go out in about 40 minutes. If that. It's not going to last us the night. Do we have voice acting? Oh, <laughs> oh! We don't have voice acting. Okay, we have voice mangling from me. Ah, few things compare to the simple pleasure of sitting beside a crackling campfire of one's own making. Ha! <laughs> so speaks the great explorer. Until recently, you wouldn't have recognised firewood if it came with kindling and a flint. "'Tis well you instructed me so patiently, then. But yes, left to my own de de signal to Issei, damp leaves. "'I was born the pampered son of a Charlayan dignitary, and alongside my twin became the youngest student ever to be accepted into the studium. How proud I was to match wits with scholars and philosophers. How ignorant of mine own shortcomings that hubris invited manipulation and betrayal and led to the downfall of the scions. We all of us are guilty of similar ignorance. How many men lay down their lives never knowing what it is that they fight for, never questioning that which they have been taught to believe. It was only upon meeting Hrasvelga that I learned the truth hidden within our history. Were it not for that chance encounter, I would never have vowed to tear down the Holy See and expunge the falsehoods with which it fans the flames of conflict. I would have lived and died in ignorance. That the truth has driven me to do terrible things I cannot deny, but I would rather sin in the pursuit of peace than imagine myself virtuous for perpetuating a needless war. If this journey has taught me anything, it is the importance and difficulty of holding to one's convictions in the face of failure, of striving always to replace one's ignorance with knowledge. 
You are well on your way, Master Alfino. At your age I was but a fool swinging a spear, with scarcely a thought in my head. Even now I struggle to acknowledge the misconceptions under which I have labored. Sitting here amongst these grand ruins, how can I deny that man and dragon once lived in peace? But for all that such an age existed, we are now in a time of war. Nidhogg killed my family and no quirk of history will exonerate him. I may be ignorant of how the Dragon Song War began, but if we do not put an end to this conflict now, I can say for a certainty that it will only breed more vengeful souls such as mine. Good night, Hop, so you take care. You keep getting better, huh? Thanks so much for popping by. In my hands resides the power to vanquish a great worm. If Ishgard's survival rests on wielding that power, I will slay Nidhogg myself. Orders or no? Istinian, you gave your word. My word is contingent upon the success of our parley. Show me the strength of your conviction, Lady Iceheart. Convince Reisfelger of the righteousness of your cause. Doubt not, doubt not, but that I shall, Dragoon. Well, winds willing, we shall have our answers on the morrow. Face our fate with the rising of the sun. Waiting for the winter teens. Archer. Any good? 53, 50, 56, 35. See, that's better than the holy rainbow shirt of Amy. I, I should get it. It's a lovely scene, isn't it? Ah, I have two slots remaining in my inventory. Well, that was a fantastic evening. Four hours well spent, I think. Before I say my goodbyes to the last handful of you that are still here, I'm going to read the poem uh, that uh, has had a little line shared occasionally in the chat. Um, and um, I'm going to read it. It's by a friend of mine. Um, well, uh, somebody I know who I've, I've spent some time with. I guess they're a friend. I call him Jim, and his name's James Sheard. And it's a poem called The Abandoned Settlements. From the question that he was shortlisted for the T.S. Eliot Prize in 2017. And it goes like this. The Abandoned Settlements. Think of it like this. The spine you once caressed is the bony turf at Warham. The only thing left of the walls that held you path that warmed you. And there are still lights, they say, in a back room in Miaulis Street, Verosha, somewhere inside, beyond the bleached door frame and hinge splintered by decades of wind. It's like that. It's like the sands where once you might have watched a lover coming wet and lovely towards you, undisturbed now and colonized by the shyest of creatures. It's the lone tower at Wilmarsdonk, its bell gone and the church it served now flattened, its weeded roof level with the crane tops and high above the hollow bangs of containers setting down. It's the wiped out and the martyred. It's the place struck from all your maps, the signs torn, the roads blocked for good measure. It's Orador and Witanoon and all the rust and rubble fall, the hulks and helplessness, the townscapes like a dead flat tire. Think of how it twitches in our backbone, is seen dimly through the window at night. How it walks towards us in a stranger's body, 
how it sets itself in high memorial above the utter transformation of our lives love that is for love exists and then is ruined and then persists there you go fantastic poem that last line is like one of the best lines in poetry I think for love exists and then is ruined and then persists hey leafy sprout hi there yeah I'm just I'm just saying my good nights now and sharing that little poem by James Sheard thanks for saying hello I'm gonna be on stream again tomorrow afternoon from uh, British Summertime UK 2 p.m. till 6 p.m. Uh, this time with some more Disney Dreamlight Valley and at some point this week I'm gonna won't be long because I want to get back into playing it I'm gonna try streaming from the Steam Deck potion permit game gonna try that but I don't know when that'll be that'll be some random thing so if you've got notifications and you want to be notified of that um, yeah make sure you do thanks so much for for sticking around and following and um, and being here and coming and saying hi just finishing um, yeah it's lovely it's really been lovely so I've had a nice nice evening thanks Mike good night mate I'm, uh, I'm glad you had a good weekend and um, <sighs> thank you all for being here having fun with me and um, chilling out I hope your week is going to be great maybe catch you Tuesday maybe Thursday night for the next Final Fantasy and we carry on this story from 7pm to 11 on on Thursday uh, other than that enjoy yourselves thank you Funky uh, the good rest of my evening will be a little snack um, some peppermint tea something humorous on the television and then some sleep <laughs> good night everyone um, I will catch you um, catch you soon yeah thank you so much good night all <laughs>